What a day, what a day. We're here, Stratford, Connecticut, in the house. Time for another another spank in the monkey spank monologues. And and I think this might be the best pause screen of all time. <laughs> just calling it now, right? I mean, just calling it now. <laughs> this has to be the best pause screen ever made. And this is, <laughs> as you can hear, in the studio with me, Atlas, the bookkeeper in the house. How you feeling, my friend? Feeling great. Happy to have you back. New year in the house. How was your new year? All that nonsense. Get it out. Come on. How was it? Uh, it was fantastic. And I'm so happy to be back and doing this. I love it here. Great. Uh, this is this in- episode is a special one because you might think we're doing episode nine and we actually are doing episode nine, but the history books shall show the SP called this episode eight, but we already did episode eight last week. So we're doing episode eight twice, but this is actually episode nine. DSP himself called this the second episode eight. It makes sense. He thought this was episode eight. It's actually episode nine. Let's get right into it now. We're we're going through all the Ask the Kings. We're going to get all the questions ever asked on Ask the King. Who knows how many years it's going to take, but we're going to get there. Let's get started right now into it. Ask the King. March 17th, 2011, my friends. Can you believe it? We are now a uh, three months into our... Uh, yeah, month in between episodes uh, at this point. Thanks, Frog Machine, who is a very big supporter, making sure this show can happen, putting these episodes up for us all. And again, these are not on DSP's channels at all. We have to, you know, put some work had to be found going into the archives, you know what I'm saying? Like a DSP throwback, some might say, without the upscaling and all that stuff and the racism. Well, sometimes racism <laughs> slips in, actually. So. I was going to say, it's <laughs> sometimes. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Fuck it. What are we doing here? Let's see. Do we get the intro on the bottom left that takes up half the screen again? We're going to find out. Let's go. I hope so. It's a classic. Uh-huh. What's going on? Yes. Welcome to the Sideways oh, yeah. style. <laughs> A little bit quiet. Let me, let me get this is actually here. the eighth official episode of Ask the King since I started doing them back in the fall of 2010. Okay, ninth uh, actually. I'm ESP, and uh, eighth, <clears throat> ninth, what's the difference? Uh-huh. 20 likes. It'd be great if we could do uh, It's been than several that. weeks since I did an episode of Ask the King. In fact, Ooh. it's been almost a full month. And okay. I fully expected that being <laughs> that this had been delayed several <laughs> weeks that I oh. would have a, a large... Large uh, amount of questions of interesting, good questions to draw from. Okay, but uh, and then today, as I started yeah, but... through them, unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Uh oh, uh, you son of a bitch! Better questions, bitches. guys. Come <laughs> you on, son of a bitch! <laughs> just complaining. I'm going to give everyone some tips on how to. Oh, tips! Questions for Ask the King. Stuff that I think that everyone would okay. like to hear. Uh, I'm hyped for this. We get some tips. How to ask oh, good I... questions. Hell right. yeah, dude, just what I was looking for. Yeah, I was wondering, because I was asking before, have you ever punched B and all this stuff? And I thought people were into it, but I want to hear these I tips. I think it'll make the episodes better in the future, because there are some really uh, repetitive patterns that I notice every time I do an Uh-oh. Ask the King, and it really frustrates me that here I get hundreds of This is a deride already? Well, I think it is. Valid, <laughs> let me explain. So okay, please one, explain. <clears throat> if you're going to submit a question for Ask the King, yeah. Don't ask something that I've already answered oh. or already repeatedly. Okay. You gotta know all of the info. You so, had to watch all the episodes already. Yeah, so I might let me just so I can see how many questions we have. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend we just got a question. So I won't do the first one we get so we can see how many questions we have. So right now we've been through how many questions? hundred and ninety two questions have been asked on Ask the King so far in this fucking series. And he expects you to know all those questions. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Dude. I can't remember <laughs> any of them about two in. I know. I, I, I don't remember. I remember like three questions total. Like, may, I don't actually not even that. I can't even remember any questions. But all right, cool. Dinosaurs. Let's, What's your oh, favorite dinosaur? Dickosaurus. G- yes. Got it. Great question. Great question. <laughs> That's the classic. That's probably the best one so far, honestly. But all right, let's go. <laughs> so there's two ways to check on this. Number okay. one, you can How? watch previous versions of Ask the King oh. that are all up on the King of Hate HD. And number two. All these threads of a previous Ask the King uh, question submissions oh, are still on, up dude. on thekingofhate.com. You can go through there and look through there oh, and see if that question oh has God. been asked multiple times. <laughs> so let's not only watch the videos. Now you got to go through those goddamn threads. All right, cool. Sounds like a full-time job around here. All right. What I'm seeing is that people are asking the same questions over and over that have either, number one, already been answered, or number two, there's probably a reason I'm not answering it. And oh. uh, it's taking up all the space, and people are wondering why are my questions well, What's the reason, answered? though? Well, yeah, so, <laughs> probably already were. 
Uh, so uh, thanks for the membership. Big up Snugs Medallion. <laughs> Good. That's like a that's an epic name, by the way. You're kind of like a nugget of truth, a nugget of medallion. Check your legend. Uh, no, two, I'm not forgetting the fact that you use uh, light mode on your phone. It's <laughs> I'm not forgetting it. <laughs> Ooh, bitch. the pasta maker, bitch. gracing us with Jenna first of the night, says, "Have you ever punched? Have you ever punched her a bee? Hope I haven't asked that before. <laughs> I've never punched a bee for anyone. No, no, no. Ask questions that probably old maybe you have, Atlas. I haven't asked you. Have you ever punched a bee? I want to do. Should I? Uh, no, but I swatted a wasp not that long ago. It was pretty hard, but oh. never punched a bee. So okay. unrelated. Okay. Okay. Who I care about? So here's an example. I've seen many, many people ask me a question like this. What? Bill, I only have sixty dollars to spend. Should I buy Marvel vs. Capcom 3 or should I buy Bulletstorm? And number one, that question is so completely off base, like... What? <laughs> How dare they ask you a gaming question? What game do you like better is what they're asking. All right. They're two completely Mr. Professional Gamer types. hates gaming questions. Yeah, God. Game. Uh -huh. There's no real... It's like it's comparing apples to oranges. Ooh. I couldn't tell you which game was better. It depends on what you like better as a gamer. Do you like fighting games more? Do you like shooting games more? Uh -huh. Are you tired of normal FPS games? This is berating now, by the way. I don't give like a fuck. This counts. Like what? There, there's nowhere to base an answer to that question on. And then in addition to that, if I answer the question, no one gives a shit about the answer besides uh -huh. the one person that actually asked that question. <laughs> so don't ask me questions like that because I'm not going to take time out from an entire episode of Ask the King to answer a question for one specific person that no one else is probably going to be an uh, interested in. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh yeah, everyone's dying to know your favorite dinosaur, dude. Uh -huh. I was just about to say that's every single question. <laughs> just end the series right now. I know, what? How dare you ask, take me, ta how dare I take time out of my question show to answer your questions, okay? That's what he said. I mean, okay, cool. <laughs> and then finally... This probably is the most common one that I get. Ooh, uh -oh. Don't ask me questions like, are you going to play this one specific game? And or, what do you think of this one specific game with oh, no frame of and reference or, or uh -huh. any actual and or, like, shout out. Illusions of and or. Behind the question. <laughs> just ask me those just really generic questions. I'm not going to answer them. Because number one, if you're asking me, am I going to play a game? Well... Why don't you take a look at my history of the past three years of the kind of games that I've played? Oh my pretty much God. Played now we need three years of history. <laughs> release there ever has been in the past three years, especially since the fourth quarter of 2010 when oh. I started doing this professionally as a job. Yeah, oh, if it's yeah, a major release, I'm going to play it. So why are so many people asking me if I'm going to play Infamous 2? I played Infamous 1. I liked Infamous 1. Infamous 2 is a big release this mm -hmm. year. Of course I'm playing Infamous 2. Oh, okay. It's a pretty no-brainer question, but people just don't no think before they ask, okay? <laughs> Similarly to that, what do you think, Phil? Oh, my think God! Phil, what do you think of Dragon Age 2? Like, you would know that if you watched the playthrough. We haven't seen this um, level of asshole-ish yet, I don't think, have we? No, this is <laughs> awful. This is a really rough start. He is tearing into these people. God, if I, if you watch a YouTuber that treats you like this, get the fuck out. Anyone with a brain would do so. Like, come on. What is this? You don't deserve to be treated like this. Anyone out there, guys. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, what? 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 Who's talking to me like this? Okay. I'm... <laughs> It's it's like and he's asking for things from his audience as well. You know, like please give me questions to help my stupid show. By the way, I was just saying he's begging for questions. Yeah. <laughs> Here's all here's all the dumb shit you guys do. Don't do that again, all right? We cool? Oh, God. All right. Man. So either watch the playthrough or don't. <laughs> or don't ask me silly questions like Yeah. The pasta maker. Hey jackass, check my history. You know what? Ban. I'm seeing the same thing happen again. You guys aren't listening to my whole fucking history. All I mean, right. The, the answer's obviously out there. Um Okay. Again, if I answer questions like again, that, there's no again. reason for me to because there's people who already know the answers. Uh, you know, people who have been following me along for quite a long time or people who watch the playthroughs already know the answers. I'm not going to take time out from uh -huh. an episode of Ask the King to answer that kind of stuff. Okay. Just Those answer it really quickly. Things, it's not that hard. Unfortunately, in the... Yeah, are you going to play Uncharted 2 or whatever the fuck you said? I don't remember. Are you going to play Uncharted 2? Infamous yes. 2. Infamous yes. 2? Yes. Great. All right, next awesome. question. <laughs> thread, the forum thread had something like 287 questions. If you take those three and you filter it out, You've probably now filtered it down to about 75 questions. <laughs> I'm not even exaggerating. Come on. Uh, I vegan the house. What's up, man? Uh, my history's out there. Retcon later. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Don't worry about that. That's how much of these kind of questions I'm getting. And it's kind of frustrating vegan. when I'm like, 
All right, you know, it's been several weeks. Let me sit down and get some good How much time are we wasting here? Good point, by the way, Josh. We're wasting five minutes so far. <laughs> and then I look and they're all the same damn questions. Uh-huh. But he's got to fill the time. He didn't have a lot of good questions. Oh, you're right, you're right. You're right. <laughs> I'm my bad, my bad. Because I wanted to make a good episode, and now I'm kind of picking at straws to find good questions. So. I'm picking at straws, huh? <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> I just wanted to get that off my chest. Okay. Uh, have some... As your king of hate shirt is on your chest. <laughs> so far, we're like... <laughs> all merch, all merch, all the time right now. <laughs> Great. Is, it, is this shows the paper? Yeah. Oh, yes, that definitely counts. That's, That's a for real one. shows like the paper. Gone. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure how long this episode is going to be simply because there weren't that many. Uh oh. Let's get started. So, uh oh, short episode. First question is from Danny, and his question is What do you think of the King of Fighters? series of games now, oh, how dare you ask this sim- question how dare you this is asking me about a single game what's wrong with you <laughs> that's the same logic right what's the difference <laughs> is this I just a like question? that we, we we went we went from uh, fighting games last time to fighting games this time we're off to a, uh-huh. a great start i don't <laughs> know shit about king of fighters <laughs> uh-huh. BLX in the house has given you an immersive Wild West experience oh definitely definitely meaningful stetson my friend <laughs> not familiar with that name King of Fighters was a crossover fighting video game created by SNK back in the 1990s. And the idea of this game was to take a lot of the the popular characters from their already existing fighting Mm -hmm. games, which were Fatal Fury and Art of Fighting, and combine them with a totally new, fresh cast of characters. Multiverse style. A really unique fighting game experience that was kind of similar to Street Fighter, and it was really created (laughs) directly to compete with Street Fighter. But to also have some different elements. Oh. And uh, what do I think of the games? Well, yeah. to be honest, I did actually play Watch these my games playthrough, back Bozo. Then. I started with <laughs> yeah. King of Fighters 94. Did you see my uh, one, review? I played it all the way through 97 because mm. my local arcade had those four versions, those four mm. years. Then after that, they stopped carrying it. And uh, because of that, I really didn't play many more versions. I did play. King of Fighters 98 emulated on the PC. Oh, we also, King of Fighters history. 99 what do you think? We really didn't. This is insane. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? It was really solid. It was similar okay, to solid. Yes or no, Dave? As you like it or not? They added new elements like rolling, um, <clears throat> Ooh, size shout out rolling. charging up a super meter, having unlimited supers. If Ooh, you're super about meter. To die, we love that. Having a, uh-huh. a charged up super, which was kind of like uh, the level 3, 2, and level 3 supers from Street Fighter games. Uh, right. Even going further on, later on, they had tag yeah. outs similar to the, the Street Fighter games that had those tagging systems. Shout out Street Fighter, the originator, combos. apparently. All Shout kinds of these elements were added to the King of Fighters games. And in my personal opinion, mm-hmm. I actually really enjoyed King of Fighters 94 through 98. I think that those five were the best ones. They were the most similar to oh, Street Fighter. Bad start, man. Why I like them the <laughs> yeah, a lot now. of qualifiers, <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of garbage circles, words here. I really enjoyed them. Uh, after 98, the series took a completely different turn. They tried to make the game stand out a little bit more, but what they ended up doing was adding characters that really mm-hmm. were nothing like Street Fighter characters. They were really oddball characters. Then they started it's adding not like Street Fighter, it's bad. systems bad. that made the game kind of broken. There were certain characters and combinations that you could do like 100% combos on people that kind of really just changed the face of the game. Now, yeah, we need a timer. Like, how long does it take us to forget the question? <laughs> that's a good point, Aknold. I know it's like, do you like King of Fighters? But I remember this one. But that's a good, that's a good yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 11 or 12. I think it was 12, actually. The game resembles nothing like what it used to be. Oh, Everything's that's a really good changed. idea. <laughs> and oh, man. popular uh, opinion on that is that the game just wasn't very good. Okay. Um, and it kind of is a shame. Now, they're actually saying there's going to be a new King of Fighters game that goes back to its roots. Isn't it funny that oh all boy. these games, Mortal Kombat, oh, King of Fighters, they're all going oh, back to their is. roots now. Like, you know, they took a decade to experiment with all these new elements and graphics, and now they said, you know what, fuck this. The game was doing way better back when it was just a straight-up 2D fighter. Not now they're all going back to Not funny, now. So I think they're all learning <laughs> their lesson. Not. If you have a good thing, don't fuck it up by trying to throw all these crazy odd okay, elements Okay, can we get to the next question? Just keep it a core good game and people will keep playing okay yes. uh, so five yeah, minute break and fighters. then it's like a five minute on the first series. question this is rough the 90s were really good i think that everything after right. the 90s basically went down and we get the wrap up of the answer get on their feet. <laughs> <laughs> we get a wrap <laughs> summary of the answer He's got a summary. <laughs> <laughs> hey phil you mentioned in your previous ask the king that the motion captioning used in rockstar's new game la noir Ooh. Oh, i guess i read that wrong he just said i had mentioned the motion captioning 
What? Um, All right, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what's weird there. These advances but... in video game graphics, plus the increase of well-known actors providing video game Ooh. voices, such as Ed Harris, do you think we will eventually see <laughs> well known Ed Harris? actors actually providing the performance of characters they're playing? Ooh. If so, what do you think this will mean for the gaming industry? Thank you for your time, Zach. All right, so what do you think we're going to get from Phil here? <laughs> oh, um... <laughs> So the question is, do we think that we're going to get real actors and actresses? I think so. This is a huge bomb. Well, like, I know the answer, but, yeah, uh, but... I think he's going to say yes. Yeah, I think so, too. I, I don't think it's that I'm not quite sure where he's going to go with it. Yeah, I, I'm not sure where he goes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's kind of a hard one to read, how he goes with this, you know? <laughs> but big ups, Down 4 Punch. Member Bomb, you're a legend, dude. Thank you, Down 4 Punch. Oh, big ups. Congratulations, everybody. You're all legends. Industry, thank you. Your time, Zach. Oh shit, my bad. Now, this is an interesting question. <laughs> my bad. I guess the first Dr really drunk, Phil. Part of this question <laughs> is actually, do you think we'll see more mainstream actors doing video games? And then number two, do you think that the, it will actually get to the point where the actors will act as themselves with this motion capture technology? Motion capture. Uh, motion capture technology. Mm. And I think that's oh, a really gotta... novel notion. Um, novel notion. One take for now. The reason why this is not possible. I think this is really a way to take video games from. This small genre, you know, it's a niche market, and trying oh, to bring it to the mainstream. And say, look, video totally games are in serious 2011. and dramatic, yep. and should be taken as seriously as any major games, motion dude. picture. We can take these actors from motion pictures, put them into video games. <laughs> motion <and they> pictures. <laughs> I love when he says motion pictures. It's like such a grand. Showing his age, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> motion pictures. Just as well as they did in the movies, and now we even have the technology to have these actors act in the games. Without Come necessarily on. having yep. film recording them, but they can emulate a character that doesn't even look like them. Like Ed Harris could be a giant fucking beast, but he could actually act, and the motion capture <laughs> technology can take all of his skill and his art and craft and put it into a game. So uh -huh. he's a beast. That is yeah, a great, he is a beast. Good idea, Zach. And I'm hoping that something like that does happen in the future because you still have so many critics who watch video games and say, "Oh, it's just a little thing you do for 10 minutes a day. It's for kids. It's what? not. It's so different Who was now. saying that in 2011? Yeah, it's like a 1985 take, you know? <laughs> in the 80s and 90s, early 90s. And it's so, it's grown to such a giant industry. I think you said it's a niche thing. I think people really need to start. Giant industry, niche, niche, who plays games. <laughs> Motion pictures, step. talkies. I said talkies? <laughs> Nickelodeons. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm stealing these from chat, by the way. I can't get credit for I know, I've seen it, too. I've yeah, seen yeah. it. <laughs> Dear Phil, you mentioned in a friend request ridicule... So, by the way, he didn't say... He said, I hope they do. That's it. He didn't say, do I think they will? He said, I hope they do. But okay. You know that your back problem could be fixed with surgery. Oh, yes. Well. Back questions. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. Well, it could be fixed. Ooh. Not positive. Uh, it might be fixed or it might, might have no be. effect or could get worse. It's kind of a shot in the dark. Uh, keep going on here. But you said at the time that you were busy with work and getting surgery would require you to take time off of your work. That's absolutely correct. That's absolutely correct. Well, now that YouTube is your full-time job, did you think of getting surgery for the back problem? And that's from Rio Horror Cop. Ooh, okay, uh, okay, no. okay. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I think he's going to say no because then I couldn't do... Well, can, is he really going to say I can't record gaming when I have surgery? Is that what he's going to say? Um, see, I thought he was going to go with something like, uh, I don't have insurance now or something like that. Or Oh, that could be, yeah. I don't have the money for it. Yeah, can't yeah. afford it. I okay. got to make sure this works out. Yeah, good point. Good well, point. bottom line is this. Hey! There's no difference between now and then. Like, back then I had a full-time job, and now I have a full-time job. The only difference oh is... Oh, my... Like, you, like, for real? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> no difference, Yo. douchebag. No difference. I have a full-time job, motherfucker. Now I have a time job oh. the only difference is i my full-time job now is my hobby which is video games rather so than doing what i use don't to. can you please explain how that's a much different thing you motherfucker it, and it still takes up just as much and sometimes it takes up uh, more time uh -huh. uh, oh more time job. being a pro gamer and, uh, sitting on the couch and the love seat all day uh, so yeah just think of it this way to take okay. this surgery this major surgery that might or might not work the minimum amount of time that I probably have to be off my feet, meaning not just off my feet, but actually resting, not stressing out, not moving around the condo constantly, but just sitting here in the bed, basically. Sitting on the love seat, then, basically. Okay. It's probably anywhere mm -hmm. from two to four weeks. So imagine if for two to four weeks there were no new videos, okay? Now, I'm not just okay. saying okay. Be able the to world stay doesn't stay end. Away from uh -huh. that amount of time, You're not fired. Saying, that's two to four weeks without any income for me. Uh -huh. And that's tough, especially when right now I'm not sure what I'm going to be making. 
Uh, in the next month or two, I should actually have a better picture of that, of what I will be making through this partnership program with Machinima. But there's no way I can. Oh, we're already, stay we're already Machinima then. Okay, cool. For a month or two. But what I have said is this let's say for the rest of this year, I do really work hard you know, with, with uh, the videos I'm making on YouTube, and this works out well with the partnership with Machinima, then maybe sometime next year, if there's a downtime uh, with games or such, then I would consider maybe doing something like the surgery. But right now, especially considering the cost of the surgery, the time off that would be required to get the surgery. Hold on, Mario Faker has breaking news. Little Shake and Bake has removed and privated his videos. Okay. This I was I wasn't gonna bring this up till after the stream. Please but do. But I had a friend of mine send me that new little shake and bake video. I don't know if you saw it. I have it not seen it. It was about Derek's birthday. I really hope he. I'm probably not even gonna be able to grab it now. Oh no, because we can't watch it anymore. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be gone. <laughs> yeah. Video's fish. private. No. Damn it. I should have saved it. I'm it's sure lost. someone did, right? Someone had, but explain what was in the video for those that didn't see it. I'm sure people did. Not okay, see it. it was another. If you saw the original Shake and Bake or the the other Shake and Bake video from Christmas, it was one of those. Uh, like he he wrote a thing. He had an AI narrate it. Yes. It's about Derek's birthday. Uh -huh. It's the the narrative is that. It's Derek's birthday coming up, and he goes to Seattle and meets with uh, DSP, and then they go to a restaurant and have uh, dim sum, and every all the other dents are there, Jade's there, Blastoise is there. It's awful. It's terrible. I think it's an op, but yeah, now it's gone forever. Okay, so but oh, it couldn't be on the reacts tomorrow. Then is that is that the is that the long play? Are they is that he's trying to get Phil to react to that? No way, right? Oddly insane is. is I hope thin. so. <laughs> I would. I want to see it again. I want other people to see it because I was sent it, and it's kind of a fever dream. It. Can, I mean, if that's true, it could. It, it, I was gonna say it could be an op, but he's giving a lot of money for this op, little shake and bake, because he's a. Th that's what I was supporter. saying when I got it sent to me. Was that yeah. there's a lot of money invested in this, but looking at it and and ingratiating yourself with the other dents like Derek like that, I can't see anything but an op. <laughs> Oh, it's on Reddit. All right, let me see if I can. Oh, find good, it good, right. good. DSP discussion five. Uh, oh, he did go. say it would be in the reacts. Okay, okay. Okay, well, I need people to see this with me because it's miserable. Someone, can someone send it <laughs> me on, on Discord or Twitter? Okay, I'm, I'm not seeing it in my first few scrolls on D D discussion five, but I, all I see is Derek saying, "I have a hard Asian cock." I have found that. <laughs> that doesn't help us though. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> Just not something that's gonna be readily uh, an option to me. Okay. Okay. That's just the honest truth. Uh, next question is. Okay. Friday next question. Next question. Oh, I forgot to count. Spent the most amount of time playing, and that question oh. is from Vice. This is the third third question. Um, that's a hard question. Oh, very hard. Simply because in the past couple of years, they're having some really style long, question. As mm -hmm. you know, with Fallout Three, I spent over eighty hours total playing that game. Fallout That's because you were drunk. I, I was up to uh -huh. 60 hours when I finished my playthrough. Right now I'm playing Dragon Age 2 and I'm actually up to 67 hours in Dragon Age 2 right now. Um, I mean, it, it shouldn't even be close though, right? If he played Street Fighter like he says he does, shouldn't he be close? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, this is a really good question. And uh, I'm not really sure how to answer it. Um, I guess... <laughs> Uh, for me, the games I really feel I spent the most time with would be the games that I played the most. And so I would say Final Fantasy 2, which is Final Fantasy 4 in Japan. Okay. Final Fantasy 3, which okay. is Final Fantasy 6 in Japan. And The Legend of Zelda, mm -hmm. A Link to the Past. All three of those games I probably beat the Legend of Zelda. at least five times. <laughs> Give more. fuck on a trigger. A lot of those I've beaten like seven times <laughs> uh, over the different versions, whether they were on SNES originally, whether they were on the Game Boy Advance, then they moved on to the Nintendo DS. I've played those games a hundred times. Also on PC, I played them a couple times, and I love them. And I think they're some of the best games ever. All right, so, we have the video. I know this. Let's this, go. Show, this show is about derail, so we're definitely watching it. Here we go. It's on disc on Twitter. So, Pun oh, foil punching a B card. Nice pull. All right, this is nice. the um. Oh, look at that face. <laughs> he lives in Toronto, Canada. Okay, hold on, hold on. He hold enjoys on. wrestling. His favorite wrestler Twitter's is Claudio fucked up video, but there we go. You can see AEW. it. He also supports the Raptors basketball team. He loves Pokemon and Power Rangers. Today, we will watch Derek go on a birthday adventure. Derek wakes up and listens to his favorite song. Oh. 
It's my birthday today. And I am really excited. <laughs> that four punch of the house. Is it time derail? Absolutely. This is what we're here for. Birthday today. And I am really excited. But I want to hear that line. The, 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 the delivery of It's My Birthday Today was very funny. To his favorite song. <laughs> oh. It's my birthday today. And I am really excited. I'm going to listen to my favorite song. I want to be the very best. No one ever was. Then he hop on a DSP stream. Phil says... That was good. Oh, hey, Derek, how about we meet up for your birthday? Derek <laughs> decides to take a plane down to DSP's house in Seattle. Derek arrives at his house, and they greet each other. Hello, Derek. <laughs> Do you remember the time I called Jasper Derek? <laughs> what the fuck is this, dude? Oh, my God. Derek loves these toys. Derek Mike Klum, you better in include this. If you don't include this, Mike, we got problems. <laughs> and Derek. Derek, Jasper loves the toy. Not, not Derek. <laughs> Very, that's, that's disturbing. Right? Derek, Jasper Always loves is. any ribbon toy. Uh huh. So, so does Derek. He Derek loves shooting ribbons. Always has. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> oh, yeah. I definitely remember that. <laughs> that was pretty funny. That was during a Disney Dreamlight Valley stream. Phil takes Derek to a Chinese restaurant. What the fuck? And they is this? eat delicious dim sum. Then Phil surprises him with a big birthday cake. Derek invites his friends, Lil Shake and Bake. Blastoise 91, Roby Petzos, oh. Only Iced Coffee, Cheetah Man, Slayer, and Jade. <laughs> they all eat, eat, and have fun for the rest of the night. This oh my god, a is... birthday party with all my friends? This is great, thank you, Phil. Derek had the best birthday ever. What the f- Fuck, man. Yeah, I got this DM while I was trying to eat dinner. Very what? distracting. Oh my god. <laughs> What do you even say to that? So, okay, it does feel it does feel very oppy right there. I'll tell you that. That's, That's my what first I'm saying too. But little shake and bake is given a lot of money, right? Like a lot my of money. My sister's face is beautiful. So like, so if other other ops have involved a lot of money though. That's true. <laughs> oh, so how'd they get the? Is Derek voice acting? No, right. It's like, I, it's, see, I didn't know that. I got asked that same question, and I, I don't have the Derek lore. That's not... I don't that, do that. Is that Der <laughs> oh, Derek voiced it. Legitimately. Oh, my... That's... Oh, I'm very excited. It's, it's Phil's birthday. This is... A, this is legitimately a new mini arc, though. I'll tell you that. I mean, that... This is... Der Phil has to respond to this. Apparently, it's going to be on the React. <laughs> yeah. And like this, it, this is, feels very oppy to show like what Phil's fans are like. You know, like could it be a little shake and bake? Like just trying to show what Phil's fans are. Like this, this is what Phil's fans are like. Enjoy. You know what I'm saying? This is. We'll keep our eyes on this, but mm, man, that's very strange in all the wrong ways. And oh, I'm very excited. Thank you, Derek. Yes, I remember that. It was during a Dreamlight Valley stream. Yeah, that's all strange. <laughs> Very strange. Big up, Sai Viga. I said, this just rattled my bones. Thanks. I hate it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll be here. And, oh, I'm playing that again tomorrow. That being said, get ready for it then, too. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I'm saying, I don't know if really I spent the money. Oh, by the way, thanks so much to um, Utterly Insane for sending that, man. They're a legend. We wouldn't have got it without you, my brother. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. Thank you so much. I love what you say thank you, but yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you know what I meant. I <laughs> spent or beaten the most amount of times. Now, if you really want to know what single right. game have I spent the oh, most amount of time, spent the most time on, it has yes. to be some version of Street Fighter, I'm sure. Whether yeah, that's what I thought. Marvel vs. Capcom 1 or 2, whether it was Super Turbo, it's one of those, because I've been playing those games for over a decade, so that would have to be the honest answer there. But it's weird that I that wasn't his first answer. Yeah, like just say that and be done. Those three games I mentioned. Okay, um, whatever, yeah. Next question. Recently in an interview with Famitsu, Ono stated that Arcade Edition wouldn't be wouldn't be coming to any console, and his reasoning was that Super Street Fighter 4 was made to be balanced. Okay. Well, he, this guy completely didn't get it. Well, yeah. Super Street Fighter 4 was uh, made to be balanced. That a break. No character being any better than another, but that Arcade Edition was purposely made. Ah, uh, so it was correct, but you just read it wrong. 
Thank God it fell. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's what he's going here. Oh, okay, never mind. And he read it correctly. Unbalanced to help build community and competitive spirit. That's from Setsuna. Let me reword all this, okay? And explain it really easy Ooh. for everyone. Ono is the Hello. guy who is basically in charge of Super, or Street Fighter 4, Super Street Fighter 4, and Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition's development in Japan. He was the one who greenlit it, who lived the whole project. Ono is a troll. And I hate to say that, but he really is. Like, oh. he says stuff to the media that later on blatantly is proven not to be true. Uh, and I think he does it for shock value. Uh, because he, I don't know what he's talking he's, about. Oh, I don't care. A celebrity. Yeah, I me neither. Stuff. It's out of my realm. We'll laugh yeah. about it later. Bottom line is, though, a lot of people hey. don't like Ono. A lot of people don't like the fact that Let's he go. took the Street Fighter uh, series in a direction that basically watered down the gameplay, that made it so accessible to so many people, that people who have never even touched a fighting game all of a sudden can be tournament-level players in Street Fighter 4. Uh, and Ono repeatedly says silly things. This is an example. Basically, what Ono said was, Super Street Fighter 4 is a really balanced game, Arcade Edition, which is the new version that's out only in arcades right now, uh, was purposely made to not be balanced, and we did that because, oh, there would be community spirit around it. And that means absolutely nothing. It's gibberish, and Ono knows that's gibberish. He's doing it just to be a troll, to try to get uh -huh. people to start talking about it, talking about it, and then he goes on to say that there won't be a, a home version of Arcade Edition, although it's already been discovered that in Korea, there's already been a, uh, I guess a, not a patent, but whatever it is, the permission you need to put out a new game, it's already gone out in Korea that there's already a console arcade edition requested. So, real talk, who is this for? Um, he's doing it <laughs> oh, no. on purpose. What's the hat fix there for? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my lady. Um, <laughs> That's a good pause. <laughs> that is a good pause. I like that. Hello, my lady. <laughs> oh no. Hello, oh no. We're not friends, oh no. <laughs> Howard. Um, he's doing it on purpose to try to strum up attention for himself and for the game. Strum up attention. Stuff he says I love strumming up attention. Although he could have been taken seriously and really been seen as a figure in the community, he decided to be a jackass. Yep. Yep. And I'm, jackass. Just, mm -hmm. I'm just reiterating what thousands of gamers around the world are saying. Oh no, it's a jackass. Okay. Yep. Thanks. Uh, I'm sorry All right. to say that. Um, Not original uh, then. Sorry to say. Move on. Of course, uh, who sorry are your to say role models? Oh, That's from I never noticed this. We have a flask. On the right side of the t look up, look at the right side. Oh, of the we printer. do up top yeah, there. Yeah, nice flash. We're drinking. What's that for? <laughs> this is a really interesting question because honestly, what are your the question? Role models? That's from Game Box. Oh, oh okay. Really are we gonna name any people, or are we gonna say I don't have any role models? What's your, uh, what's your guess? Whoa. I really hope he says some stupid shit like like Ryu or something. That would oh. make me laugh. But. <laughs> <laughs> God. Uh, I think he's gonna say yes. I think he's gonna say yes. I think he's okay. gonna name a couple specific people. I think he's gonna say a few people, but say at the end, I don't have any role models. That's my guess. Like, oh, you you might say people say I'm AVGN, but I don't actually have any role models. That's what I'm guessing. Oh, Bill mm. Murray. <laughs> Bill Murray. Interesting question because honestly, yeah, I was thinking about entire... Scott from the Street Fighter days. <laughs> if I feel like if he doesn't mention Scott, uh -huh. it was it's all it's all a lie life when i was growing up in high school grammar school they always ask you that question i never had an answer like uh, yeah who's my role model <sighs> well let's see you know, my, dad, sure, you I respect my dad but my dad my dad works at worked at that point he was working a job he didn't like he really didn't want to go to work get every fucked, day. dad says, you know what i'm gonna hash it out just to support how dare family. you work hard and i said you know what if i had a family yeah that's very respectable that someone does that Ooh, nice that, but i don't want to put myself in a situation where i have a family and i have to work a shitty job to support that family. Ah. Okay? So who else would you look to? So not dad. You, like, just that fact alone could be something you look up to. Like, wow, my dad will do anything for our family. But nope, I was, not Phil. I was just about to say, it's very, I don't think I've ever heard anybody say, like, when their dad is still in their life, that their, da their dad isn't their role model. Like, even if you don't want to emulate them, yeah. you don't want to do the things they did, like, the fact that, He's still in your life and does the things that he needed to do for you is kind of enough to be some sort of role model. Exactly. Like, that's what I say. Like, my dad, I learned something from my, my dad did uh, installing carpets and I went to work with him a few times. And I say, I learned from my dad, I didn't want to do something like that. But that doesn't mean I don't respect the fuck out of him for doing it for our family. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's still a hero. You know what I'm saying? He does, did, did what you got to do. 
And that does mean he's kind of your role model, you know, making it happen in the way he has to do it. That's ridiculous to say this. Like, oh, well, fuck my dad. He didn't say fuck my dad. But he He did did say, (laughs) it's not my dad, though. Like, he's making it clear it's not my dad. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's not my dad. So he's out. My dad? Well, he's out, you know? You always look through famous presidents and world leaders and stuff like that. Uh-huh. I don't know. For me, it was always like, I want to be my own person. I don't want to look towards someone to try to use them uh-huh. as a guide or an archetype for my life. I just want to do what I want to do. Uh-huh. And that's really been how I've lived my life. Now, the only person who in recent years I would probably say might be a, a role model Ooh. for me might be someone like Howard Stern. <laughs> who... Oh, my God. <laughs> Howard Stern. Couldn't even be someone he really, like, knew. That's someone the said it. That... Someone got the, got the bingo. A couple of people. That. Aura Master, I saw Howard Stern. Who else says Howard Stern? You guys are legends. You got it. If you, Unless you watch this before, of course, but you're legends. That's cheating. Here to do something <laughs> completely different in a medium that kind of was very stagnant. <clears throat> and he spoke. T-Link Soldier, you're a legend no too. What, there you go. He was always honest with his public, and he always did whatever he thought was going to be entertaining to the people. And he took a hell of a lot of flack for it. He was persecuted uh-huh. for it. He was, there's still people to this day who have no idea who Howard Stern is as a person and don't understand what he's all about, and they hate his guts because there's just this fucking mentality out there that he's such a bad person. And you know what? I feel kind of the same thing. Yeah. Just a street fighter, <laughs> I with knew he was going to say that. Fighters. Hell yeah. People out there who are just out there to get me. They don't get me. <laughs> the king of, the, of, king of media. The king of internet media. They don't understand what I'm about. They're <laughs> butt hurt about maybe one little thing that might have happened. That really, I had nothing to do with in a lot of cases. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think myself as an innovator. I'm one of the first. I'm an innovator. Dumb people <laughs> went to innovator, to originator, first to do it. Who tried to make it more. <laughs> Big up, Hoskew. Says Dave at the library. Dave. Do you have that book for men with small penises? Librarian searches. I don't think it's in yet. Dave said, yeah, that's the one. Big up. <laughs> Your legends. <laughs> oh, skewed. Good joke. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, don't worry. Don't worry. We'll go back. I got it. I got it. But, all right. Cool, 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 cool. I do that all the time on my own streams. It's a disaster. They understand what I'm about. They're butthurt about maybe one little thing that might have happened that really I had nothing to do with in a lot of cases. And, uh... You know, I think myself as an innovator. I'm one of the first people who went to YouTube, who decided to do live commentaries on gaming, who tried to make it more entertaining than just trying to do a playthrough of a game and showing you how to beat the game from start to finish with like a walkthrough tutorial type kind of a deal. And there's so many people on a daily basis who contact me and say, Phil, why do you think you're so popular on YouTube? Because oh, I'm, yeah, that's, I'm, I'm sure you get those emails. Don't you love sending emails to people? Hey, fa- hey, person I really like on the Internet, why are you so awesome? How do you have so many people liking you? That's the email people actually write in real life. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Who's yeah, writing that If you that guys email? want to send me those emails, uh, feel free. It's <laughs> yeah. at gwetflux at hotmail.com. Thanks. Who's emailing that? <laughs> so many people on a daily basis. Like, even the famous people. Hey, Shohei, Shohei Otani. You're, how are you so awesome at baseball? Who's writing that? Who's writing that fan letter? Contact line? me and say, Phil, why do you think you're so popular on YouTube? Uh-huh. Because I'm myself, okay? Oh, yeah, because yeah, I, yeah. Mean, I am myself. I'm not afraid of saying stuff. I don't kowtow, kowtow to anyone. Kowtow? You know, with Blip TV, look what happened. People. Is that, a, is that a phrase? Kowtow. It's kowtow. Oh, kowtow. What does that mean? I, I don't even know what that means. Uh, it's like to submit to... Oh. Uh, never, I was about to do a bit. Never mind. Um, <laughs> I could. Kowto. Kowto? Stuff. I don't kowtow, kowtow to anyone. Kowtow? You know, oh, kowtow. You know, okay. What happened. People uh, to kneel and touch the forehead <laughs> to the ground in token of homage, worship, and deep respect, apparently. Oh, okay. Bending the knee. Okay. Got it. Got yes. it. Yes. I don't kowtow. That's the Asian version. Show kowtow. servile <laughs> deference. For stuff that I said, fuck that. Yeah. I got out of there, and here I am on YouTube, back and better than ever. So whoa, 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 what? Me for stuff that how how to anyone, you know, with Blip TV, look what happened. People persecuted me for stuff that I said, fuck that. I got out of there, and here I. <laughs> I got out of there. I wonder Is how that, that what happened? happened. You got out of there. <laughs> <laughs> they said leave, and then you got out of there. Okay. That's what you get fired from your job. You can say, I got out of there. Yeah, you did get out of there after they told you to leave. I was just about to say, it's like being fired. Say so you got out of there. Like, yeah, because you got fired. I got out of there. <laughs> Fuck them. You know. So I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. And that's kind of the same mentality that Howard Stern had to the point where he said, eventually, I'm leaving terrestrial radio. Fuck all of you uh-huh. stupid, Ooh. you know, touchy people who don't understand what humor really is. And he went to satellite. 
and he single-handedly built Sirius Radio up from being almost in bankruptcy to overtaking XM Radio to the point where the two merged, and now they're going to become even bigger and better. So, yep. I guess he'd probably be the only person I would say is my a role model to me. All this and Howard Stern praise goes over my head. I'm too young. Oh yeah, I'm a Howard Stern guy, so I, I can I can uh, really? I definitely enjoyed Howard Stern back in the day in the in the heyday when we just tr went to Sirius Radio. But like, I want to know, like, Phil doesn't really talk about him. Like, does I want to know? I want to pick. I want to hear questions about Howard Stern to see how deep Phil got in there with that. Like, does he know about all the people on the show and shit? Like, he just seems to know. Like, he seems to really praise Howard Stern, but like, I don't know how much deeply he knows about it. But the stuff know. that he says, it's just. Uh, the only thing I know is Beetlejuice. Shout yeah. out Beetlejuice. 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 <laughs> Legend. He's presented himself. He's always spoken from his heart. He's not afraid to say anything. Um, and he's his own person, and he won't let anyone tell him differently. Oh. And I feel I'm, I'm the same way. Yeah, what a badass, dude. All right, I'm going to keep going here. I'm almost thinking I can ask all these questions in one episode. Actually, give me one second, because I forgot to time this. <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right, we are right now 20 minutes in. So if I can finish these questions in 10 minutes, we're good. Uh, so here we go. Next question. Hey, DSP, you said that you grew up with old cartoons like Teen uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and old <laughs> systems like Nintendo and Sega. Oh, he's look, doing the thing you love, looking at the t at the screen. <laughs> looking up, <laughs> give, uh, giving a you gotta, speech. Yeah. He did it twice you on make this your one. Eye contact. Old cartoons you get like graded on that, you know. Ninja Turtles <laughs> and old systems like Nintendo and Sega. Did you ever fall for your advertisement <laughs> products like the old Nintendo cereal and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle pies? The answer is absolutely yes. This question, by the way, is from Decoy111. I fell hook, line, and sinker when I was a kid. Yes, I had that disgusting Nintendo cereal. It tasted like you were eating a spoonful of sugar. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Oh, yeah, and when you're a kid, you really think that's when disgusting, you... too. Yeah. I was just mm -hmm. about to say, yeah, sugary cereal when you're a kid. Blah, I hate oh, that. God. That sucks. Get this out of here, Mommy. I hate this shit. Turtle pie was <laughs> was that marshmallows? <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> yeah, you really would hate that. It was supposed to be vanilla flavored. It tasted like ass. Oh, and I tried ass. it all. Thanks, of, anything you can think of, I tried it. They were all horrible. Uh -huh. But yeah, as a kid, I bought into that whole thing, and I was tricked. And uh, a tricked? it was pretty gross. I get tricked to buy yeah, cereal. Yeah, he got tricked. Oh, he fell for the marketing. Uh, He's always been a mark. Uh -huh. Next question. Hey, Phil, do you watch any machinima like Inside Gaming, RB and the Chief, or Insanity? Not included. It's a, this guy can't, can't spell. But okay, that, that's berating. The Jaminator. And the answer is, <laughs> I've answered this before. No, in nope, fact, I don't, I don't watch, watch shit, motherfucker. Uh, I don't have time to sit around and watch have time. videos. In fact, since I started doing this full time, super busy. Uh, YouTube as my job, I haven't even watched the Angry Video Game Nerd or the Nostalgia Critic or any of the stuff I used to watch. I just don't have time to do it. Oh, I'm uh -huh. too busy working with what I'm doing now, brainstorming. You know. Doing things, <laughs> yeah, brainstorming. Busy. So, no, Gym I don't storming. Watch what are you brainstorming? What, what, what does your job involve brainstorming? Like, there's not even pre-streams at this point. What are you brainstorming? What jokes to say? That's during? actually a great point. What is yeah. he thinking about? Because he just plays the games. <laughs> yeah. And that's it. <laughs> brainstorming. All right. Anyone else. <laughs> and that's why it's funny when people say that I'm uh, plagiarizing stuff. I don't watch anyone else's stuff. How could I be plagiarizing? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh, next question. Hey, Phil. Uh, in the Angry Video Game Nerds Plumbers Don't Wear Ties review for the 3DO, <laughs> he claimed that the 3DO had the definitive port I don't remember that one. <laughs> to Turbo. Have you ever played this version? I saw bits so of that, actually. Okay. Keep up the good work on YouTube. That's from King of DBZ 101. Yeah. I have played the version. The version is complete fucking ass. Uh, right? The AVGN is going along with a mentality that I've seen on the internet. Uh -oh. The 3DO oh. version probably had the best graphics for the time of a Sheet Fighter home console port. And if you were comparing all of the console versions of Street Fighter that were available during that time, on the SNES, the best you had was uh, <clears throat> Hyper Fighting and then Super Street Fighter 2. On the Genesis, the best they ever got was Super Street Fighter 2. No other home console ever had Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo up to that period of time. And so when that version came out, they said, oh, this is the definitive version that you should own. The bottom line is the game was hey. nothing like the console or the uh, arcade version. It actually had significant differences. Uh, I believe that I'll, it didn't even have mo I much or question. any of the old versions of characters from the arcade. I thought it had edition, something to do with AVGN's plumbers don't but wear ties. Yeah, but we're talking, we're talking about, about Street Fighter. I don't. That's all games were about. People say, "Oh, it's the best version of Street Fighter ever." So I'm not surprised that someone like AVGN, who never played Street Fighter competitively, 
wouldn't know that that actually was not a very good version of the game. Okay. Okay. Um, hang on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because this, I, I really hate this. This, it's not a very good version of the game shit when it's like, okay, it's not arcade accurate. Sure. Whatever. But does that make it a bad version of the game if you go home and play it? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, you're not at the arcade. That's kind of you can accept some, especially this time. You accept some, uh, you know, it, some downgrades when you're playing it at home. But you're playing at home, so you're you liking it. You know, it's like whatever. Yeah, but, it's fine. Like you're yeah. you're just looking to play games at home. This is still relatively <laughs> new, is it not? Like I again, I'm not as old, you yeah. know. So, and I, but to me, it seems like you would just take what you get at this point. Yeah, you get and, to play Street Fighter at home. And uh, of we of course we know AVGN's take though, even though we don't watch AVGN. Oh, I don't even watch AVGN. I can I be plagiarizing him. Oh yeah, I know what he said about that. All right, yeah, yeah, good point. A lot you know? of people <laughs> okay. kept asking about the Mass Effect 2 DLC, the arrival, and want to know my thoughts. My answer is this, I can't give you my thoughts until I know exactly what it's about. And Bioware's only hinted they haven't given full details. If it is a way to bridge the gap between Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3, meaning the arrival of the Reavers finally coming, or the Reapers, I'm sorry, the Reapers finally mm -hmm. coming, invading Earth. Hey, that's finally great, coming. but my Big question up. is, why the fuck wasn't that in Mass Effect 2 when that's all anyone wanted in Mass Effect 2 anyway? But mm -hmm. I've talked about that many times before, how I thought Mass Effect 2 was just filler. Um, <clears throat> next question. You're slowly reaching 90,000 subs. Currently, as of this message, you're at 88,662 on your dark side filled channel. So are you planning to do a celebration video of it? And that's from Kavinsky. My question is this, that's great that you know that, but why the fuck are you still looking at the dark side filled channel? I said a year ago. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> that's for sure a great. <laughs> How dare you care about my channels, motherfucker? I, yeah, dude shows interest in your channel and is happy you're reaching some sort of milestone, and he, he's gonna basically call you a shithead. Why don't you go focus on something else? Why don't you watch my other shit? I got a question Click the for ads. you, motherfucker. The Phil channel is an archive channel oh, only. Archive. There's no new footage there. There hasn't been any new footage there for like seven months. Footage. So why are you... I love what he says footage, too. Looking at that channel, who cares? <laughs> Get some footage. There's 7 billion subscriptions. There's no new footage. There's nothing new. The subscribers are subscribing for absolutely no reason because there's nothing on that channel. Uh -huh. All right? You need to push people to go to DSP Gaming, which, by the way, is about to hit 60,000 subscribers. Yeah. If anything, that's what I should be celebrating, not the dark side. Already at 60 at this point, by the way. Already at 60K right now. Channel hitting 90,000. That's crazy. And then that's also, crazy. the DSP <laughs> that's Street Fighter insane. Is fighting game footage. That's what I need people to watch, not Dark yeah. Side Phil. Okay? Yeah, okay. It's more insane now that I'm actually <laughs> making content. Sixty thousand people gave a shit about this guy back then. Wow. <laughs> a lot of awesome. This is an awesome soundbite. He says, "Don't watch Dark Side Phil." Fighting game footage. That's what I need people to watch, not Dark Side Phil. Uh, okay? not Dark Side Phil. Okay. <laughs> I thought he said, "Don't watch Dark Side Phil." <laughs> oh, sneak. Next one. Uh, a lot of people ask me about. Well, not a lot. Probably about three. But. uh... It seems to be a question that people want addressed. I'm going to answer it short and sweet because people, again, just like with Winter Brawl, people are blowing shit out. Do you see him preemptively look in the cup already? Uh huh. So I'm going to answer it really second. short. Second. <laughs> oh, then we get a second. <laughs> okay, so the thing is, if you never notice it until this show, he will always look at the bottom of the cup when he drinks it. And he does it here twice here. Well, not a lot. Probably a pre -look. three. But, uh. Look. It seems to be a question that people want addressed. I'm going to answer it look. short and sweet because people, think, again, just like. With Winter Brawl, people are blowing shit out of proportion. I'm getting real tired of it at this point. Oh, so I'm answer really uh -oh. Quick. look. See? He has to look down. He looks deep into the bottom. <laughs> oh, and then he makes eye contact with the camera? I like that. That's what's up. <laughs> this is like when, you know, he the, he got Cat to kiss him on the cheek that one time. This is the same look. Oh. The gin's about to get it. Yeah. Hell yeah. Gin. Let me get a quick set. <laughs> oh, thanks for the idea, ALT. <laughs> Uh, the question is I'm this. getting that. G Phil, what happened at final round? You didn't seem to have as much coverage as you did from Winter Brawl. Yeah. And it looks like you didn't do anything from day three of final round. What gives? <laughs> Some people completely went fucking ape shit. Oh, you did horrible coverage, and you you didn't do anything. You said you were gonna do. You're a liar. Yep, because you said you're gonna take all this footage, and you didn't do it. So let's hear you gonna talk that away. I'm sure he's gonna say what he was busy. Watch. I mean, he 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 talked. This is the time when he talk up going to those uh, on SRK. He would always talk about going to these tournaments. And I'm gonna take a lot of footage, guys. Gonna be awesome. And then sometimes sometimes he did it. It was cool. But then sometimes he would do like four videos of like walking in. 
showing a game or two, and then that would be the end of it. So let's hear how he's going to explain this one away. What happened? What's wrong with you? All right. Number one, people who are acting like that suck my dick. <laughs> I never oh said my. that I was going to give 24-7 coverage of final round, and I was going to be, you know... You're out of your mind. What okay. I said was just. Yeah, like sometimes he wrong. did type like that in those posts, though. Yeah, he would act like he was going to be like CNN with 24 7 coverage, dude. He I talk like that all the time. I'm going to go to final round, and you can expect the same kind of coverage, which is me recording some of the best matches of the tournament, doing some commentary while I'm there, which I did do just like at Winter Brawl, and, uh, and that's it, you know? So what happened at final round was yeah. on day one, I went and I recorded as much as I could. And then on day two and three, I was asked by both Spooky and tournament staff not to record anything on the stream or oh. anywhere where they were already recording. And the bottom line was they were recording most of everything. Hey. They recorded Super Turbo Finals. They recorded HDR Finals. All the matches that I was, like, involved in, they recorded. So I was told I could not record those myself. Yep, so that's fucks. why there's, like, no footage of me playing besides very few little things because everything was recorded for the DVD. Now, the only stuff that wasn't recorded was the pool play. And if you've never... Pool, oh, pool play. Yeah, it's like, oh, pool play. Get some guys in the pool. <laughs> Get some chicken fights going in the pool. That sounds pretty hype. I say this before, <laughs> you know, Twitch pool parties. So this yeah, was... Was... He's an originator. Yeah. Team up with Jaha in the pool. Pretty hype. Street Fighter tournament, I would understand why you're confused why I didn't record the pool play. But if you've been to one of these major tournaments, you I would love I pool play. understand why. When you have 320 people playing in a tournament... The pools are like a fucking mob of people, okay? <laughs> it still works. <laughs> the metaphor still works. <laughs> They're mobs of people. These pools are high, dude. Twenty people playing in a I'm tournament. just thinking about a wave pool with like Jaha, <laughs> Rambo's there, Viscont is there, Justin Wong in the house, DSP there. <laughs> the pools are like a fucking mob of people. Yeah. Okay? You have a line of TVs against. Let's say this is the back wall of the tournament set. Okay. Station one, station two, station three, station four, and in front of <laughs> They're lined up. Great. This patch of hair, that's the back room. That's the spot. <laughs> right here. All right, I'll stop. You have 300 fucking people. Okay. okay. This pool so is good packed. Trying to record any matches on these tiny little CRT TVs with 300 people standing in front of it, all trying to get to their matches at once. Uh -huh. It's completely impossible. In addition to that, I should. <laughs> Why did he look up at the hat? <laughs> He's got to check it for demons. I got the hat demons. As you know, I have a back injury. Oh, so I can't uh -oh. be standing up for long amounts can't of time. Can't get in the pool. I, I have a back injury, dude. Trying to get that footage. It's not worth it. If Even if I had gotten some of it, it would have been horrible quality. So the bottom line was after oh, God. Friday and the hey. some matches that I did record, which you can see on DSP Street Fighter right now, I was basically told you can't record anything. So... What did I do? I played games all day Friday, and I recorded all day Friday. Saturday, I did play games all day. I was in Super Turbo Finals. I was in HDR Finals. Then I was in the qualifying pools for Marvel 3 and Super Street Fighter 4. By the time all that was done, I had uh -huh. started there at 9 a.m. It was 6 p.m., and I was finally finishing with Super. And I told Jason Cole just to disqualify me from Super Street Fighter 4. I'm not sticking around here for another three to four hours. To wait for Tokido to play all his matches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a real badass. He's the guy that kicked Phil out and made sure Phil got only fourth uh, that year, Tokido, I believe. Uh, uh, and uh, of course, Phil still thinks that he's better. He has very salty about Tokido always. Uh, at that point, all the other top players had been stuck playing Marvel 3 teams until 6 p.m. That's when it ended. So now they had to go play all their singles matches. So they would have been tied up till like midnight. So I said, you know what? Enough of this. I'm really tired. I'm actually starting to be in pain from standing oh, up all no. day. Let me just go my relax. Poor bag. By, by the way, this is my vacation. I'm paying for it out of pocket. It's very expensive to stay at a hotel like this and do what I was doing. I'm going to yeah, go wait. back to my... You're going to be there. Everybody what? is. Yeah, you're... what? It's nothing special. You're going to be there any... all the time. In my room, I'm going to relax. Yeah, by, by yourself and your suite. And we'll see what happens. And then when I woke up on Sunday morning... Brought that big room so that nobody could come in. Uh-huh. Brought all the gear. Brought all his uh, rock band stuff. I could go down there, but I'm not allowed to record. <laughs> I know that. I could either sit there and watch the finals with everyone or... or yeah, or have have fun. Interact with people that you can't see all the time. You know, people in your explosively community you're a part of, right? That, who would want to do that? <laughs> I could do something else and relax today, have a nice relaxing day, hopefully not get sick, not get hurt, and 
have a safe tri trip home, and then later on, if I want to watch the finals, I can watch them on the archive Team Spooky stream, which I knew was going to exist. Dude, oh. bro, that's very telling right here. This this tells you a lot about someone. Like, okay, let's put, put yourself back in this time frame. Like, you're in a community, a fighting game community. You're going to a tournament where there's, you know, all these people you don't see all the time. Uh, you know, most people have friends in these situations. You know what I'm saying, guys? I mean, I know mm -hmm. it's a crazy concept. Some people have friends in these situations. You want to be down on the floor. I mean, you just want to be there. You want to be where everyone's, where everyone is. Going up to your hotel is the end of the fun. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever been to like a, a convention or something, Atlas, like that? I was just about to say, you're saying put yourself in the situation. I, I've... Uh... I went and did a couple events a couple states away with a friend of mine, and we stayed at a hotel while we were there. But when we were there, we didn't want to go back to the hotel room until we were absolutely like just dog tired, couldn't do it anymore, yeah. needed to leave. Other than that, we were on the field at the event, hanging with the boys because these are people in the community. We share a common interest. We like want to get to know them, even though we're probably never going to see these people again. Yeah. You make those like, those quick connections with some people that you really can't make anywhere else unless yeah. you're doing an event like this. And yeah, I know what you're saying. Some like nugs, I know what you're saying. Like sometimes there's hotel parties, but Phil's not going to any hotel party. You heard that? He's going to relax. That's why you spend so much money on these things because it's a chance to hang out with people you can't see any other time. Dude, this is not. This is a not. A, this is. I mean, this is very telling of what. He, his social situation even back then this this cool dude that he's trying to put on this this you know I'm such a cool dude he goes back he goes upstairs doesn't w quits the tournament by the way uh, uh, street fighter his main game I'm quitting that I don't want to wait three hours I have stuff to do like relax in my hotel room yeah that's what he lay just in said. the bed on my laptop yeah, yeah that's cool. what he just said that's what he just said hopefully not get sick not get hurt what and have a safe tri trip home, and then later on, if I want to watch the finals, I could watch them on the archive team yeah. stream, which I knew was going to exist. And that's exactly what I did. I relaxed, I had some food, I had a couple of drinks, I played Dragon Age. I had so we was had... drinking, that's why we <laughs> left. <laughs> so you had a, a Friday night to yourself, which, you know, those are kind of free, you know? I don't know if you knew that. You could do that at your house any fucking week. And that's what it really is about, me going to this tournament, covering it as much as I could, and then also having a good time. It's not about me fighting through hundreds of people to try to get crappy footage of a CRT TV when I'm not allowed to record the good high-quality stuff, and then maybe trying to sneak in an interview here or there. When did you ever see me go to a tournament and get an interview? Like, why do I care about interviewing Combo Fiend? I mean, Combo Fiend's cool. I'm friends with him. <laughs> I I give mean, fuck, Combo Fiend. Jesus. That might have been <laughs> hype, actually. People <laughs> yeah. probably would have wanted that. Yeah, people would have liked to see that. You know, how well, why would I want to interview anybody? Okay, uh, do I interview people? No, give these uh, people in your community a spotlight on your YouTube channel that's blowing up. Yeah, dude, that seems like something you should want to do. What are you talking about? Uh, interview, uh, known the guy forever. His 21st birthday, he was drunk in my hotel room in Vegas, and that's a story that I may tell him someday. Yeah, so he but, sounds fun you know, at least. Cool. I don't need to interview him. Gee, good job doing fucking Bionic Punch 700 times. What do you think? I mean, <laughs> other people can do that. I don't need to, to fight to do that. That's oh, other people can do that. They can have that opportunity. They're they can make that money, it. not me. You're, yeah, you're covering it. You said you wanted to cover it. What? What are we talking about here? This is so weird. Play coverage. That's what it's always been. So to everyone, I'm sorry if you're disappointed in the coverage from final round. Don't blame me. You know, I was told I couldn't <laughs> record. If I do go to other tournaments where I'm told I can record whatever I want, I'll do. I'll record as much as I can. But I was told I couldn't, and uh, I enjoyed my weekend rather than worrying about anything else. And uh, that's sorry about that. I'm sure you just felt a jump in the footage. I did. Uh, my what happened? Recording I felt it in the right ether. The I... My last sentence there, and I only have two more questions. They're the only two good questions I found on Twitter. Uh, today, again, as I mentioned previously, everyone asks the same question, so please be more careful with what you ask me in the future. Please. Um, but anyway, Sorry, what X. I was saying was, if you didn't like the final round coverage, too bad, suck a dick. That's okay. What I was when I got okay. Cut anyway, <laughs> the last two Twitter questions. Um, <laughs> Oh God! Sorry. <laughs> Big ups, Doom Messiah. By the way, this is this is for hanging and banging, brother. Thanks, you Doom Messiah. You're a legend. Uh, the first one. Thank you. Thank you. How long do you think uh, you'll be a gamer for? A poor piece a of hobby? paper. Okay. How long are we gonna be a gamer for? 
All right, Atlas. Um, what are you thinking? Oh, oh, um, probably, probably I'll never stop being a gamer. I'll always be a gamer, but I will definitely be gaming less as I grow older. Okay, okay. That's, that's, I expect, I respect the deepness of that answer. I would think, I think he's going to say something like, I'm not going to, I don't, I don't expect to be gaming until I'm like 50 or something. So he'll say that kind of thing. Like, oh, I'm going to expect to be gaming until I'm like 50 or 60 or something. Oh my God, this kid, people need to write, people need to learn grammar. Anyway, that's great. He says, yes, it, I'm rephrasing guy. what he's saying because it makes no sense. All right, so we have yes. like six bottom lines and four berates on this one. This one's been a high energy, high, high event, uh, asked the kid. It is a hobby, but when you draw the line, when you're 40, you're 50, that's you're crazy you say that because it's um, <laughs> been how it's been. Question, yeah. I'll, I'll grow gaming. Probably not. I'll probably be a oh. gamer for my whole life. There you go. But, nice. It's always Let's been go. my hobby. You know, just like there's people who grew up with checkers, there's people who grew up with football, there's people who grew up with <laughs> what? whatever. Checkers? <laughs> he said checkers. <laughs> Checkers. Not chess, checkers. <laughs> no, checkers, yeah. That's like the one thing that probably is not like a life lifetime like hobby, is it? Like checkers, how deep can checkers get? I mean, I know it can, but you know, like checkers, is that anyone's like lifetime ho time hobby? It becomes a part of their life, at least some portion of their life for their whole life. Is there a time when I will stop gaming as hardcore as I'm doing right, <laughs> right now? Probably, oh. yeah, but the bottom line is I'm young right now, and I've been able to flip Go this ahead. hobby into a job. There's no reason for me to think about that right now. Right now, I want to focus on doing it, focus on seeing if I can make money doing it, becoming more popular, uh -huh. and, uh, and, not and the expanding question. the brand and doing everything I can to make this don't have a question. Uh, don't answer the question at all. As profitable as possible. So there's so? no reason for me to even address a question like this now. It's way too early. Oh and I'm my just god! Doing a couple months. This was one of the good questions from Twitter, and he's not even. He, I, it's not worth addressing. Any stream chatter, Derek or otherwise, you're a fucking loser, dude. He just what? He said this is the only good question I could get, and he said, oh, "How dare you? I can't even answer this question now." What? If they're asking a question, how long do you think you're going to be gaming? What? Anyways, Punish Lasagna in the house says his coverage of fighting games is like an NFL reporter just stream the game on their Twitter with no commentary. Big ups, guys. Yeah, that's that's ninety nine percent of his coverage. And here's the thing. People wanted that, man. That would—they were so hungry. There was nothing online, and they would take that. that those videos would get like ten thousand views. It's crazy what people like. That's how little work he had to put in, and people would still just eat it up. And still, it was too much work for him. Interviews? What's wrong with you? Get the fuck out of here. I'll do interviews. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy how much of an opportunity he squandered by just not wanting to work because like you said they were so hungry for that footage and it's the same thing with the commentary thing on his youtube channel people yep. were so hungry for gameplay commentary and he just couldn't adapt to the little changes that he needed to do to stay relevant and be somebody to this day other than you know who he is yeah 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 i mean and all these people there's so many people from this time i know he likes to say it you know that are that that were around this time they were first of all they, like I, the biggest showing of this was the uh, Total Biscuit episode I did, like Total Biscuit back in these days, didn't start, uh, it just started just about around when you, Phil did, but quality already above him back then and just kept going up from that time. And Phil, it, we're still in the same time period, basically. What's upgraded? LED lights and uh, direct capture. And that direct That's capture. That's a direct capture. <laughs> and that took years to finally do. <laughs> Big ups to Hoskew says some people grew up door dashing checkers. Oh yeah, he would door dash that. Door dash checkers. <laughs> <laughs> I question like this now. It's way too early, and uh -huh. I just it's only been a couple months where I started doing this as seriously as I've been doing it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then the last question, it's a wrestling related question. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh boy. Uh, do you think that TNA will ever go belly up due to the piss poor booking and business decisions they've made as of late? <laughs> That's from Beatles12345. Yes. And the answer to that question is I think TNA already is on their way to going belly under. They've made horrendous decisions. <laughs> yeah, don't you hate when companies go belly under? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like I like I like when he they they said the right thing and then he managed to still say the wrong thing. Uh -huh. That's amazing. Let's go belly under, dude. Regarding who they want to make as champion, you know, someone like Jeff Hardy, who has had ridiculous drug and alcohol problems previously with WWE to the point where he left, he goes to TNA, then they make him the champion, and now they're seeing, if you saw the last TNA pay-per-view, Jeff Hardy was so drunk that he couldn't even wrestle in the main event, so Sting forced him down for a three count after, like, 30 seconds and said, <laughs> fuck this, I'm not wrestling with this amateur and unprofessional person. 
And uh, yeah, TNA is making a lot of horrendous decisions. I don't know what to say. There's some parallels to be to uh, drawn there between uh -huh. the guy and this wrestler. I know a fellow that's got an alcohol problem, can't mm -hmm. do his job right. Yeah. Yeah. WCW did. <laughs> I don't understand how they don't see that. Besides the fact that they're all so high and mighty and egotistical that they they don't think that it was their their own fault, including people like Eric Bischoff and Vince Russo, uh -huh. how they could not see that they buried WCW, I don't know. But yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay, that's it for Ask the King this week. Um, okay. I tried to consolidate it all into one episode rather than, you know, spread it out again, so... The, the rake through the hairline oh, made it yeah. seem like it was very stressful when all he did was not answer questions for 30 minutes. Like, his that's emotion cool. runs high, you know what I'm saying? Like, he started this episode very emotional, remember, yelling at people. He gets very emotional. And, uh... There's a... <laughs> I like this profile at this time. <laughs> Please, again, keep my, my advice for how to submit better questions. Oh, yes. Oh, Look my God. <laughs> double, double mouth. Double mouth. <laughs> so hopefully next time we can have a longer and better episode. But this is DSP signing off. See you yeah. then. Hell yeah. All right. That's the first episode. But you know we got another one. Don't worry. Got to. <laughs> this is, uh, let's see, this is two months later. What is going on, everyone? On DSP. Wow. And welcome to the... March oh, new shirt. They must not have had any good questions. Uh huh. New shirt in the house. Dark side Phil though. Uh, again, with that sure. that touch that that classic shitty Teespring style uh, printing there. I love those. 2011 edition of Ask the King. Uh, right off the bat, I just want to let everyone know. Uh -oh. Excellent questions this time around. In fact, I had a hard hey, you dumb fucks. Choosing which ones I wanted Way to, to go. answer for this particular episode. So uh, if you didn't get your question answered, don't feel bad. I mean, there were a lot of really interesting, good questions this time. So feel free to ask again if I don't address your question uh, in the new thread that is now on thekingofhate.com. Okay. <clears throat> I, do I feel like that's going to turn around. Uh -huh. uh, to uh -oh. I'm say it wrong again, I know. Foos, I think. Oh, oh. However you say it. Thank you. <laughs> Oh. oh, this is the girl. Remember? Foes. Foes is the oh, girl yeah, that yeah. asked the question. We've shown her before. She did ask a question of Phil. She was a uh, moderator for his website. Anyone that doesn't know. Uh, I, I, I'm trying to put together an episode for that, but, like, really, it's not – she's not that interesting. I hate to say it somehow. Uh, where is she? Uh, DSP – I'll show you real quick. Get a shot of her. DSP uh, King of Hate Forum. I'll get it real quick. Where is she, foes? Foes. It's hard to stack up to all the dents that we have today. They're so iconic. It, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, it, she's she's like very normal almost, and it's just here. Here you go. Here you go. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. So this that's is a good. That's a good pause you got there, though. Uh, <laughs> I'm a class, I'm a master. This is uh this is foes, and foes seems very normal almost, right? And she was a very normal sounding human, which is very rare. But she did work for. She liked Phil so much. She was doing work for him, and uh, on the website and stuff. So what? Let's see. What did Foes do to here? Foes was a, a former dentern, I guess. I think, or however you say it. And notice how Phil is very awkward here because he's dealing with a female style. I was just about to say yeah. he's talking about a girl. <laughs> uh, she doesn't know that he's gonna be married in the future, so he shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> Foes, I mean, <laughs> Foes. I'm gonna say it wrong again. I know. Foes, I think. <laughs> or however you say it, thank you. <laughs> I'm shy. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Thank you for adding oh, the new voting function. The self-deprecation, uh, big ups. Ask the King thread. If you don't know what I'm talking yep. about. Yep, so she added, the, she, added the, uh, she added whatever function he just said. I wasn't listening. Check yet. it out on thekingofhate.com. You can now vote up or vote down people's questions. And uh, it did oh, help me to suppose. pick and choose which ones I thought would be the most pertinent, like the answers that people wanted to hear the most. But also, I chose some that maybe people weren't did, didn't particularly want to hear answer because I thought they were interesting. So it's <laughs> fuck a good everyone, tool so. for me to I was just about to say, fuck everybody else. It's about me. This is my show. Eat a dick. Functionality. Uh, let's get right to it. Okay. Because um, we had so many questions. It's going to be jam-packed. and It's probably definitely going to be a two-parter this week. Oh, look down. Zip. So let's get started. Let's um, get started. First question. Dear Phil, I was wondering if I could make you some fan art. I draw in an anime chibi style and would like to draw you. <laughs> Does he know what anime oh. chibi means? I think what would work is I would make a draft. I'd venture to say no. Yep. You can tell me, you know, what colors to add and where anime to add them. Then style. I make a copy via computer, color it, and send it to you. After doing this, time after time for others, I decided oh God. Uh, should you like camera? it enough, I will give you 
full rights to use it as you please. Thank you and keep gaming. That's from Mr. Katamara. Uh, well, Mr. Katamara, first of all, thanks. I appreciate the, the offer. Um, there are lots of people who've done fan art, and if you check out my forums on thekingofhate.com, there's actually an art section there, graphic design slash art, mm -hmm. and some people have put up pictures. <clears throat> and actually, put your free shit there and shut up. Art, which uh -huh. is really neat. Uh, I'll probably be showing really people neat. that at a, a future date. But, uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, anything like that, what I would say is put it up on thekingofhate.com and let me know through a PM that you've done it so that I can go take a look at it, and uh, and, I'll, and we'll go from there. Um, but, yeah, it's great. If, people, if anyone does want to submit that kind of stuff, I could use definitely use that in videos and things like that. So feel free to submit that kind of stuff, and that's what the, the, the forums on the website are for. Whatever. Uh, next question. Okay. Is a channel for playing old school games still on the radar, or has that idea been dropped? And that's from Dr. Wawi. Ooh, okay. Is there an, a chance to play a channel for old school games? Mm. I think he's going to say, like, I'm no. I was doing the main channel, right? What are you going to say? Oh, I was going to say, well, uh, my answer is no, it doesn't happen. Uh, <laughs> that could be true. Yeah, well, yeah probably no. Uh, it's not on the question. The thing is, I, I kind of find myself very busy just with the new oh, games that God. are coming out. Um, Don't have time. Too busy, and dude. And it's kind of hard. Someone made a really good point, and I didn't answer the question, but someone hard. made a really good point <laughs> on the, point? the Ask the King thread is... <laughs> I say I, I'm going to play all the mainstream games, and <clears throat> but sometimes some of the best games aren't the mainstream per se. Uh, so what I've been trying to do is any games that I even see that I'm interested in, I've been trying to play uh, in the interest of maybe catching a, a diamond in the rough per se that <laughs> not everyone thought was going to be a good game. You're going crazy with the quotations right now. Uh, so I'm really busy. Now like, Mills convinced he uh, doesn't know how to use them. <laughs> no. He's just going ape shit. <laughs> diamond in the rough <laughs> per se. Maybe a slow month and all of a sudden people are like, well, Phil, this game's coming out and this game's coming out. Uh, as you know, if you've been following along, when I went to buy, um, <clears throat> excuse me, when I went to buy uh, WWE All Stars this week, Ooh. GameStop, Dynasty Warrior Seven came out at the same time. WWE All Star. How much money has he spent across his life in WWE related things? Now that's a hype question to think about. Oh, because, so much. Because okay, <laughs> Fal okay, obviously we know WWE champions, but WWE SuperCard as well. WWE yep. games. WWE yep. WrestleMania. Right, he went to WrestleMania mm -hmm. legit. Like he spent, I mean, he went to some house shows. <laughs> like he's paying for one of Vince's kids to go to college. You know, like I mean, it's crazy. I didn't even know that, so I bought that game. So it's kind of hard for me to find time to do other side projects. Like a lot of people have said, Phil, why don't you do the Hateful Truth anymore? Phil, why don't you do classic games? And the answer is, right now, I'm pretty much busy every day with new stuff. Uh, there's so many new games coming out uh -huh, that I so just don't busy, have time to do dude. that stuff. Yep. And so, gotta you know, get those I day one views. We're interested in other stuff, but right now I'm only one man. You know what I mean? Oh, like I would love to do man. a truth on every game. One man I army, play. one I man show. Truths take a lot of time for the video editing. I don't have an editor, dude. What takes a lot of time? Game that I play. The problem is the hateful truths take a lot of time for the video editing and. Figuring out what I'm gonna say and His stuff shit like ass that. reviews take a lot of time. Oh yeah, that's the brainstorming. <laughs> figuring out what I'm gonna say. It's very time consuming. Uh, and the same would go. Gonna wind up watching this on my stream eventually. I promise. Yeah, they're great. <laughs> like it's a great idea, but I'm, when I'm playing twenty to thirty hour long games, frequently. What you should do is get a series together to make sure you watch them. What you gotta do is create a series. I'll come on it. You can watch all the yeah, all the uh, hateful truths. That'd be a hype series. Oh yeah. On your channel. This is a good idea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, away. And I'm making, oh, no. you know, anywhere between 15 to 40 videos a day. It's really hard to find time to do this kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. it's still on the table, a, a retro game kind of channel. I forgot the question. But right now, yeah. I'm so busy with the <laughs> stuff you. that's just going on by itself. Uh, like, retro yeah, games. It's, yeah. uh, there's no time to do me? it. Now, that's not to say that later this year, things might slow down. A lot of people have been saying during the summer, it doesn't look like a lot of releases are coming out. If that's the case, then it's definitely a consideration. So okay. we'll see what happens. Okay. Um, okay. okay, next question. Hey, Phil, uh, my fiancé and I are moving to the Republic of Korea, or South Korea as most people know it, uh, next year. Really? My question for you is, have you been to another country? And if so, what was it like? And did you enjoy experiencing another country besides your own? Okay. I think the answer is no, right? Or did he go to... I think the answer is no. Do you know that anymore? I, I feel like the answer is no, but yeah. if it, if it, the answer is yes, it's something like like he went to Canada, Canada or something. But I, yeah. I think that's too far fetched. I think <laughs> the answer is no. And that is from Run Double Run Double O Seven. 
Um, the only country that I've ever been to besides the United States is Canada. There you go. And I Let's was there go. on business. It was a business trip. <laughs> was half right. And although they let us do some fun stuff, like one night we went out to, there's this popular street uh, where we were. We were in New, Newfoundland, by the way. Or, <laughs> Newfoundland? They just found it, dude. <laughs> there's this popular street. Uh, where we were, we were in New, Newfoundland, by the way. Or, uh, he's New gonna Fa- shit when he finds out <laughs> about New Mexico, dude. <laughs> Newfoundland, Newfoundland, right next to Borderlands. <laughs> How they pronounce it up there? But it's very different from the rest of Canada. A much colder climate. It's a fishing oh, yeah. town. Or a fishing <laughs> oh yeah, Canada. Really not cold, dude. Outside Newfoundland, Newfoundland though, that's cold as shit. The rest is hot. The area. Um, and we were there during the summer, so actually it was the warmer side, but it was still kind of cold there. Uh-huh. And uh, they have this one uh, famous street with, like, the whole street is just pubs. And so we went <laughs> pub crawling when I had some food. We went pub, pub crawling, crawling and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, it was it was okay. But the problem was I was there with people from work, you know, older people, much older people. I mean, we're talking uh-huh. people, you know, who are, like, in their, their 40s, their 50s. And here I was in my mid-20s. And I'm like, I'm totally different. I would have looked. Ooh, what if this is a Korsky thing? You know, like that. Dad, daddy I, signed him up. You know, daddy had him hired, so he's like dealing with people that are usually older than him and little Phil's around. You know, <laughs> I I think this is something. It probably, that... uh, it's finance, right? I think he's talking about they talked about it before, actually, on the finance one, like one of those teaching you how to do the insurance. I don't know. I can't remember that well. This is this is one of those things that like I just it to me tell is very telling about how DSP cannot socialize uh-huh. because to me as a twenty uh, something year old going out me too, on a work way. trip Thank with you. forty and fi- yeah yeah ALT <laughs> yeah. me are the same age we've confirmed uh-huh. behind the scenes don't worry about it yes um uh, mingling with forty and fifty year olds drinks involved like even like that stuff to me is super interesting I get along great with all of my extra old coworkers. Yeah. I don't have a problem with that. The, the old guard is cool sometimes. Yeah, also you just drink and have fun. It's not a big deal. Like, I don't think that deeply about it. Like, all right, I've got to go with my coworkers. I don't give a shit how old they are. We're just getting drunk. That's all it is. Like, I mean, you know they're going to tell yeah. me stories. I'm going to tell them stories and yeah. it's it's going to be fine. Yeah, we're hanging and banging. The goal is to have fun. That's the only goal and not get too drunk. You know, that's the bottom line of it. You know, to break apart and just go meet people there and talk to people and drink and, and have fun. But unfortunately, I was kind of stuck with these people, so Uh it is what it is. I was there for work. Uh, It was interesting. Definitely the culture was a lot different. The the speech, even though people talked, uh, uh, was definitely different than it is here in the Northeast of the United States. Oh, okay. Uh, I really didn't have too much time to absorb the culture. Now, I would love to travel someday uh, and go to other countries. Of course, up there in Canada, they speak so much differently. The problem then is the limitations with my back and stuff like that, so we'll have to see what happens, but... Interesting question. Thanks. Um, He'd love to travel, though. Next question. Thanks, Uh, This is a long one, so bear with me. Uh Uh, Phil, I don't know if you heard about the recent announcement from Sucker Punch stating that Infamous 2 will have a creation mode. Instead of creating levels like in Little Big Planet, you can create missions and post them online. That's cool. So basically, Infamous 2 is going to have an unlimited amount of missions. So what's your opinion on this news? Also, because creating a a mission in Infamous 2 looks a lot easier and less time-consuming than in Little Big Planet, do you think you'll try to create one? That's from JC15. No, no way. I don't, I don't make shit. That's no. an interesting uh, announcement. I didn't hear that because I'm so busy playing games. Oh, I, God. Uh, I t- uh, time to follow dude, how, how, how everything is busy. Seems. What? He's the busiest dude in the universe. Um, <laughs> seems interesting. From, the time, from yeah. the time he wakes up to the time he goes to bed, it's nothing but content creation, ELT. You just don't understand the oh, hustle. Brainstorming. Honestly, it seems like a really good Oh, yeah, I forgot the brainstorming. <laughs> Right now, I think what a lot of these game studios are struggling with is making a game that not only is good the first time through, uh-huh. but a game that you want to play again. Oh. Like, for example, Uncharted. Uncharted 2. Amazing campaigns, but once I beat the game once, there's really no incentive to go back and play it again. Same thing with Infamous 1. The game was exceptional. Uh, sure, you could go back and play it as like a light side or dark side and get the different powers, but besides just the powers, the story wasn't going to change. Um, mm-hmm. And so there was really no, not much incentive to play the game again. So something like this, maybe this will add new... Uh, Infamous 2 did exactly that, like by the way. Mode, All right. Multiplayer mode, which a lot of people say these games don't really... Yeah, that big guy, that's the real truth. When you wake up every day at noon because you're hangover, you, the day feels kind of short. Like, it does feel kind of busy if that's the life you're living. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you <Yeah>. know? <laughs> uh, it's an innovative idea, and I'm interested to see how they implement it. And I have to say yes if 
it's not really time that's like when like, like you, you you going hard on saturday night and you wake up at like you know tw- like my earlier days you know i would wake up at like 1 p.m on sunday because you went too hard on saturday you know yeah and then you're like yep. Fuck, and then your Sunday's, Sunday's like nothing <laughs> yeah that's i get <laughs> yeah. that feeling i get that yeah <laughs> i might consider making submissions for uh infamous too so we'll see what happens uh-huh look now look it down drink 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 great question check my time here Okay. Oh, check the time. Uh, next Think question. So. Can't Think wait to so. get out. <laughs> hey DSP, since you worked hard in getting your business degree, since you had a job for a while, and that- <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Big up, Kevin. Since that lint roller never moves, it drives me nuts. Yeah, those two were there for more than a year. We'll keep that in mind. We'll, 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 well, obviously, he, he, he pulled series, them off. Yeah. You remember? Oh yeah, he did pull them off. Yeah, but then he put them back in the same position. Remember? <laughs> He's like, this is where they go. <laughs> Since you worked hard and get who who starts an email with this? Hey, since you worked hard to get your degree, uh, what? uh next question. Hey DSP, since you worked hard in getting your business degree, uh-huh. and since you had a job for a while in that that field, you know, business. Yeah. How did you feel when you crossed over from working in the business uh, field to playing video games professionally? What are the pros and cons of playing video games professionally oh, as opposed boy. to working in a business field? Uh. And he's right. saying, actually, minimum 10 minutes here, guaranteed. But also maybe <laughs> minimum. As well. some, yeah, honest. yeah. Uh, good question. Good question. Uh, first of all, how did I feel when I crossed over? Well, first of all, if you remember, it wasn't really intentional. It was me losing my full-time job of five years uh, how that happened? because of the bad economy and getting laid off. Mm-hmm. So it was well, kind of like, well, back in 2010. there's really nothing to do right now. There's no <laughs> other jobs to be had in that in that field. Yep, Let no me other jobs. Let me just see if I can flip this hobby into something professional now to be completely honest i've been putting a lot of effort into this uh outside of you know my full-time job it was almost like i had two jobs and one i was getting paid for and one i wasn't uh so really it was like just trying to focus my effort on doing this and it wasn't that hard because it was something i've been doing already for two years i've already become very popular on youtube because of it uh, in fact, people from my full-time, my previous full-time job had known that I was doing this on YouTube and were kind of impressed that I could juggle the two. So... Yo, me too. Was it a hard transition? Crazy. Not really. like the same thing. Like, okay, well, this business thing that I've been doing for five years, I push it to the <laughs> side and I'm going to focus on this over here and see where it goes. Uh, okay. If anything, it was very nerve-wracking because I didn't know if anything was going to work out. I didn't know if I was going to find a way to flip this and make money out of it uh, and be able to support myself. So it was very... Nope. Sorry a very that. nervous time, but at the same time, I stayed positive, and because of that, I think a lot of positive things have happened in my life as a result. Okay. Um, now, the second part of the question, what are the pros and cons of doing this professionally? Great question. I think um, that was the only question, wasn't it? I think you just added all that shit. <laughs> let me tell you, there's a lot of things that people don't know uh, about being self-employed, okay? Okay, here we go. When you're employed, people by don't know, dude. Dress, now starts the ten minutes, by the way. Salary, and you consider it a full time. Uh, God, I felt like we already <laughs> wasted ten minutes. <laughs> oh, now it starts. So. That you might not realize. So, for example, number one, you have stable income. You know exactly what you're going to make each month. So it's not like, gee, maybe this month I'm going to do real well, and then this month I'm going to do shitty. It's like you oh know what's coming in, so you can have a budget to base yourself off of that. Uh, right now, I have no idea. I have an, I, I do have a rough idea, but I have no idea how consistent okay. it's going to be with what I'm making. So I could have an outstanding month in February, and then all of a sudden in March, it really sucks. And now I don't know what to do because I didn't save enough money, or maybe yep, that's it, all your choice, brother. You know, maybe it's it's maybe it, it's nerve wracking because I have to be over conservative. I have to save everything that I make because I have no <laughs> idea how much I'm going to make the next month. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, could you do should that. probably do that. So right there, just doing that is very nerve wracking. Uh-huh. Uh, being self employed because I'm not with an employer, I don't have health care. So right now I'm actually paying out of my pocket for health care. And it's insanely expensive. I'm paying over three hundred dollars a month for health. Oh, yeah, for yeah, that crazy, know, dude. Yeah, that's how expensive healthcare is in the United States. If you don't have a full time employer who pays partially for it, yeah. it's fucking nuts. So, yeah, it's really pain in the ass. And very crazy healthcare. healthcare works, you guys sure, don't know <laughs> three hundred something a month. But if I get sick. I still have to pay more money. I have to pay for co-pays <laughs> for doctor visits. I have to do co-pays for any drugs that I get, and I have to do co-pays for any surgery or operations, anything like that. 
So I'm still paying yeah, money. That's how that works. Yeah, that's Who's how he goes. explaining this for? You're explaining insurance. Like, I bet for Sikorsky, he had, like, badass insurance, I'm guaranteeing, because his dad was all oh, there. Oh, yeah, dad yeah, Dad was yeah. Insur- they working there for 20 fucking years, and I'm sure Phil was on his dad's insurance still, you know, not like Phil's little, you know, beginning employee insurance. I bet his dad's insurance was awesome. So now it's the first time he's like, co-pays? What? What is those this? Huh? But he's talking all of this like you, this is the, the, when you get your like first grown up job, you know, you sit down with AHR and they go through all the benefits that you'll be receiving and like you ask all the questions. Like that's what, he's giving you that seminar on this Ask the King for some reason. Yeah, because, you know, that, you know, he's worked in a few jobs now. We know that. So like he is, it's just, I think this is the first time it's actually hitting him. Like, you know, oh, I have to pay for that because like it just goes over his head he doesn't give a shit when he like it, it, it previously it didn't matter that much but now he's like all of a sudden he kind of has to think about his finances and it's like oh shit you know i have to pay for that what for doctor visits That's i have to my, for any drugs that i get and i have to do co-pays for any surgery or operations anything like that so i'm still paying money out of my pocket even though i'm paying for health insurance that's how our healthcare system works it's fucking broken and i feel bad <laughs> for people who don't have health care i don't know how how you could survive in this country, I, I just don't get it. It's, it's the healthcare system doesn't work, and that's why we're having such a crisis right now with our economy, with healthcare, with everything mm-hmm. going on. Um, Is that so why? Really, mm-hmm. really expensive. In addition to all that, Uh-oh. I recently just went to have my taxes done and found out that self-employed people have to pay more taxes than anyone else, in, else in the United States. So yeah. let me get this straight: people who are struggling to get a business running have to pay <laughs> more than people who work for a large company. Why? What if I was opening my own business? What if I was opening? Yeah, so you know, but the thing is, if you if you do start a business, you get into a different. Then then it's not true anymore. The thing where you do have to, because I've gone through this, is self employment. It that he's right. But if you open a business, then you could start adding into that and like to get in some tax benefits. If you start a business, he's just literally doing the worst without a business, just self employment. At this point, for sure. A deli. And I have no fucking idea how much money. Yeah, I'm we're opening up at a deli. Gonna, yeah, hype. You're gonna actually tax me more. Uh, if you had a sandwich people, shop, people yeah. Who are just making investments <laughs> and, and working to get a business started, you're gonna tax me more than everyone else. That's insane. But that's how it works in the United States. So I had to pay a monstrous. I'm saying monstrous, monstrous amount of money for taxes. Luckily, the money that I made since I started doing this as a full time job, I've saved most of it. And so I had just enough oh, yeah. to pay these monstrous amount of taxes that I owed the government. So yeah, those are some of the pros and cons. Uh, I would say some of the pros. Oh, back taxes. Yeah. <laughs> now I just pay five hundred dollars a month. Most obviously <laughs> for those back taxes. I get to make my own schedule. I get to stay up as late as I want. Get up whenever I want. And I and you take advantage of that for sure. And it's totally uh, oh, one hundred percent. We were waking up at noon. <laughs> so one day if I'm not feeling well, I don't have to make videos. But that also means I'm not going to make money that day. So. Just like everybody it's totally else. Based off of me. And I like that. I like, I like that. that. It's my choice whether or not I make money today, as opposed to with the other job, it was like, well, yeah, sure, you get sick days and stuff, but fuck you. If you don't feel good, come in, because if you don't, you, you know, we're going to fire you, or we can basically make your life miserable. That really sucks, and I hate that mentality. The other thing is, I'm my own boss, so I can do whatever I want. I can make videos. <laughs> is that the on same game. thing? I can do a oh. review. I can choose okay. to do whatever I want. As long as it's within the content criteria of what Machinima is going to pay me for. Mm-hmm. And he can do whatever he wants. That's why I he's going to continue to do the same really thing every day. Right now. Yeah. I don't have to worry about getting yelled at because I was five minutes late. I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> I wonder how many times that happened. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he had that example ready real quick, you know? <laughs> kind of stuff, man. Yeah, no respect <laughs> for people showing up late, uh-huh. in all honesty. I wonder Not how many times work. he was late at Sikorsky. That really, that independent feeling... It's, 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 a, it's a freedom I haven't experienced in my entire working life until I started doing this. So yeah. I love it. Um, but yeah, there's obviously there's pros and cons to everything. And so, Hang on. I was talking too positively. Let me think of something negative to say. Uh, obviously, when I do this longer, <laughs> That's what it felt I'm going like. to experience even more pros and cons. I think one of the good pros is going to be, unlike with my previous job, a lot of the stuff that I'm doing now, like buying video games, traveling to do to, to go to conventions or video game tournaments and stuff like that, all this stuff can now be written off on my taxes because it's yeah. a source of income. Oh, hell and yeah, dude. Tax cuts. Yeah. The amount of money you that can I owe to t- put on anything we'll you want on there. So. They don't even check it. That was it. a very good question. I know I took a lot of time answering it. You write your whole condo off. Uh-huh. Who cares? Yeah. Just throw it on. 
You could come up with five thousand dollars of business expenses a month, dude. It's crazy. Okay. Just start making the shit up. <laughs> buy yeah. buy extra shit so you can <laughs> write it on there. Who cares? We've got a question, dear Phil. I've been noticing a common trend with people who define themselves as retro gamers. Oh, Many of them argue that modern games are too often dumbed down compared to games of yesteryear. Looking at in the order screen, to to looking at the screen. Market. While I have seen in several cases that this is true to an extent, for example, Oblivion. Ooh, is... I'm not sure he's going to answer this one. Will he think games are dumbed down now or no? Because they're kind of, they, I mean, they definitely are. But he they is, definitely are. He's taking advantage of that. Like, he's the biggest recipient of that. He's the kind of gamer they are d getting dumbed down for. So is he a fan of that or not? What do you think? Oh, back then? Um <laughs> man. Cuz I feel one. like he could take it he could take it two ways, right? Like he could complain about Call of Duty, but he could also they'd say that's super dumbed down, but he could also say like it's great because more people get into gaming. Yeah, this is tough. Something like that. I think uh, he's going to say I I'll, I'll I'll say my answer first. I think he's going to say like I think he's going to say the new way is better. It's it's just better for people for for a wider audience. I think he's gonna think it's a good thing. What do you think? All right, I'll take the opposite. Okay, I'll take the opposite. Fighter Four come to mind. In many other ways, <clears throat> games are trying to move forward, and in more ways than simply just adding pretty graphics. Do you think this is really a universal trend with modern games, or do you disagree with this argument? And that's from Fly Triple Six Monkey. Um, <laughs> Shout out, no, fly triple six you monkey. Know, I've talked about this before, especially okay, with Street Fighter. Okay, just get yeah, to the fucking answer, dude. Trend. Games are becoming easier to play. Oh, so it wasn't exactly the question I said, by the way. Is is that a trend? Was the question, which is even dumber. Oh, right? okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's definitely a trend. That game that's not even a question. That. The easier the game, the more widely it appeals. And I hate to say it, but take a look at the Nintendo Wii. Most of the games for the Wii are. Shovelware. They're party games where you wave a fucking wand around and you play a mini game. Uh -huh. It's, oh, it's games where people have fun together. He hates it. <laughs> yeah, with friends. The, the bottom line is this. There oh. really are two markets for games. There's the casual market, mm -hmm. which is huge. The casual market is huge. People that just want to sit down and play games for half an hour a day and fuck around. They want to play Candy play Crush the on their kids. mobile. Uh -huh. There's some people over, mess around with it, and that's it. They don't want to make a significant investment of time into video gaming. They just want to have fun for a short period of time. Then you have the hardcore gaming market, which is the absolute flip side. They take their gaming seriously. They want serious content and serious subject matter. <laughs> they want a game that you invest a significant number of hours in, but you get a reward for it, whether it's great gameplay, great story, great graphics, whatever. Like, what? So, you get a reward for it? Oh, all right. Yeah, it I sounds like what? they're handing out candies or something, yeah, dude. <laughs> you get reward for it. I don't... Okay. I can understand why the market. If you, so only hardcore gamers get the reward of good graphics. That's what he just said, right? Like if you're a hardcore that's, gamer, yeah, you get that's kind of what he's getting at. That. Cool. It's kind of. If you ask me, uh, having fun with your friends is kind of a reward in and of itself. No, but no, no, he wouldn't no, know anything about that. No, you're just waving a wand around. What it wants to do right now. <laughs> like now what Fox. I can say is, thank goodness that there are game developers who are still making serious games. Like uh, if you, saw, uh, I would say one of the most, the most difficult games that I've played in the past couple of years. And actually, I didn't put it on YouTube. This was right before I started playing games for YouTube. Was Lost Odyssey. Um, yeah. That game was fucking hard. But it was a very, very traditional JRPG. And it stuck to that formula. It stuck to its guns. And I think the game was outstanding simply because it did that. Um, on the flip side of that, there's a lot of games that are becoming a lot easier. Um, I miss what JRPG but, did he mention? There are games that are getting long. I don't even remember. As well. um, <laughs> you know, I, I, Anyone in chat remember it? Lost Odyssey. There it was. Chody in the house. Lost Odyssey. Thank you. Again, thank you. Fallout, thank you. Fallout Three. Fallout. Fallout? Three. I was looking at They're the chat. Really Yo, hard. there's another one. Fallout. A drinking game. As long as you figure out the formula. That is one that they made sad. easier for the Look wide, how wider long audience. Those games are. Look how engrossing they are. Or a really good example would be Heavy Rain. That game yeah. was very simple to play. You just mess around very simply with, with the controller and do very simple things, very simple movement. Ah, it's almost like it could be played on the Wii. And you can win, or you can, you know, at least proceed in the game. But the story, the characters, the graphics were outstanding, and it really drove pulled you uh, in. And it was one of the said best. Said graphics of the year. can't play it on the Wii. For me, uh, it was the second best game of the year. Um, yeah. So been a fan since then. I can see the <laughs> divergence of paths with gaming. Um. Do I necessarily think that either way is right? Not really. I think you're always going to have your market. 
before, I have to say this, before games became as mainstream as they are today, uh -huh. it really I was thought they were niche all earlier. hardcore gamers. And the hardcore gamers, you had them. Yeah, you're right. It was difficult, but you had to give them enough content. That was two was months really ago. They're not niche anymore. Now that the games are becoming more uh, widespread, more mainstream, yeah, if you want to sell more games, you're going to probably want to make your game a little bit easier, but something to hook the person into playing the game as well. So... Like being I don't know, good. A lot of people would argue, gee, what happened? Call of Duty used to be, you know, oh. a really hardcore series of FPS games for the computer. Then as soon as it hit console, they added things like auto aim and stuff like that. Now it's so noob friendly. Okay, all right. It's not it's auto so aim. Fun. Stop. <laughs> don't auto say that. You can jump on there. They give you aim bots in Call of Duty now. Of I kind of. I can see that argument, but at the same time, that game is extremely fun to play. So there are arguments. Oh shit. I muted it. Go. I like a mix. I like games that are some games that could be difficult, but it has a good a, a good subject matter. At the same time, I like games that are easier, but maybe they're a little bit longer. I mean, Mass Effect what? series isn't that hard to play, but it's really engrossing. A lot of characters. Um, I don't know. I, I, I see both sides of the argument, and I've been on both sides of the fence. All right. Um, my, mixed, classic mixed bag. I myself. Riding the fence. Yeah, mixed I'm bag. So yeah, if it was set on the fence, but it didn't you, it's okay. Yeah. Either one's fine. Kind of it's not necessarily just gameplay. Both play. sides. So, I don't know. Very I cool. You're all cool. Trend. I love it here. Uh, and I don't know if it's necessarily a universal trend, but I think a lot more game developers are doing it to try to sell to a wider audience. Uh -huh, whatever. Okay, how much time do I have left in this first part? Shout out God of War and their, their presentation. Five minutes left. Um, Everyone's asking me about the 3DS and what I think about it. I have physically Everyone's seen the 3DS asking. at GameStop. I think the 3D effect is amazing, but will become extremely annoying after a while. Um, <laughs> All right. Is he gonna, I wonder if he's going to say it's a success or not. I did not buy one. Why didn't I buy it? For two reasons. Number one, because I can't film it. You can't film... <laughs> that and put it on youtube how would i film a 3ds just like on my regular D uh you get direct capture which would be much harder at this point but you could do it let's hear it. what is he gonna say put his camera at the 3ds yes. how would i film that it would be way too <laughs> difficult mm -hmm. and number two there's no freaking games for it all the games that came out games. were like do i really want to play super street fighter 4 on a fucking handheld when i can play it on my big screen tv with great graphics and great controls it doesn't make sense. Um, well, you don't go. No, he still really came out. Nothing he still good. makes that no same good. argument about PC monitors. Uh -huh. Why would I want to play on this little tiny monitor when I could play it on my jumbo screen TV? Like, uh -huh. okay, Gris, whatever, dude. Zelda, Star Fox. There's a good maybe four or five. Yeah, these, um, that's pretty cool. Resident Evil Mercenaries. That looks good. But those games are, are out, and they have like they're not coming out for a long ass time. So why the fuck would I rush to buy a 3DS? This is what stumps me. With these, these companies out there, they're all releasing hardware with no good games. When Xbox 360 came out, the only good game for it was Call of Duty 2, right? Um, <laughs> when PS3 came out, there were very few good games. Like, why are you rushing your console? Hey, the PS Triple had no games. Now? This is facts. <laughs> with no games to play. Like, I, yeah. Really, the system seller for 3DS right now is Super Street Fighter 4. But I don't care. I'm, I'm com I, I play that game. If I play it, I'm going to play it competitively. I don't want to play it on a shitty handheld with bad, you know, with wonky controls i'll play it on my fucking joystick on my tv so it makes no sense um yeah that's my feeling right now i think that the, i think the technology has potential i think that the games coming out for it in the future look good but i have no mm. desire to buy it now because there's no games for it okay pretty just... pretty straightforward um yeah why are you so like aggressive it's like damn nice question. just ask if you what do you think about it He's just attacking <laughs> him like, damn what relax video game I'm, I different. love the arc ended with the, the 3DS that he wound up buying one of those with the like built-in capture card or whatever yeah, and yeah. they just never really used it. Nope. Even though those are super expensive now and like uh -huh. uh, like highly collected or whatever. Yeah. Like people want them bad. PS3 game and that was from Bioptic Pigeon Zero. Bioptic uh, Pigeon. My very yeah. first video game, I couldn't answer that question because my very first exposure to video games, I was a very young child. And I was going to my uncle's house, and my uncle used to play video games on his PC all the time. Um, and so he used to play some of the earliest games that were like text-based games, but also some of the classic games like uh, Pitfall. He had an Atari 2600. <laughs> Shout out to Pitfall. Eventually, um, I, I, eventually I bought an Atari 7800 because I had played on his Atari 2600. Um, and he gave me a lot of his games. To play. Hold on, hold on. What did he say he bought? That eventually... Um, I, I eventually I bought an Atari 7800 because I... Atari?
Atari 7800. Hold on. Say, is that bought, a number? He bought an Atari 7800. How old must he have been when he bought that? Dude, Atari 7800 was released on 1986. Like, that's like, and, and it re released in 1986. But at that point, at least for where I was, Nintendo, the Nintendo Entertainment System was a thing we we're all fucking buying at that point. Like, who's buying, who's buying an, an Atari 2600? <laughs> but all right. Because I played on his Atari 2600. Um, my guess would be um, old he, people. I don't I, know yeah, I think it's live. like a grandpa <laughs> thing. Yeah. He gave me a lot of his games to play on my Atari 7800. Actually, he gave me. I think the first console I ever owned was he gave me one of those from the 1970s, one of those Pong consoles, which is pretty much just a rectangular. God, I hate this story. That plugs into your TV <laughs> and, you and, spin and you just play Pong on it. And it was I played that with myself yeah, for a long time. <laughs> I had fun with that with myself. What player one was my left hand? Player two was my right hand. Very basic store, two paddles. Which ALT friendless. It's okay. <laughs> That's probably the oldest game I owned, but I couldn't tell you what the first video game I ever played was. I was too young, and I must have played it at his house. Um, my first Xbox 360 game was Call of Duty 2, and um, or Call of Duty 1. Whatever the first one was that came out on 360. I apologize, I don't remember which one it was. Uh -huh. And uh, my first PS3 game was Uncharted, believe it or not. Um, believe it or not. A lot of people are asking me about more. I don't know why you wouldn't games, believe that. I, I feel like that's the case from a <laughs> lot of people. The category when I talk believe it or about not. The divergent <laughs> paths of gaming. Right <laughs> Ripley's now. believe it or not, not my first PS3 game. Spending five the first PS3 <laughs> game was Uncharted. <laughs> believe it or not. Um, what if I told you my first game ever was Uncharted? Would you believe it? Absolutely, because there's money to be made. Fact or fiction? Wii, yeah. Party games. <laughs> The same thing on the iPhone and stuff like that. Those games could sell and make a lot of money. So, yeah, there's definitely a market for it, and it's definitely big business and should be taken seriously. I personally don't spend time playing games on my cell phone. You know what I mean? Oh, I you all <laughs> games appreciate it. Let me hear that again. Time killers for me. It's not something that I would spend. It's definitely big business and should be taken seriously. I personally don't spend time. Time playing games on my cell phone. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't a very good one. Sure. Sure. Suck, I'm not gonna lie. It's not something that I would spend significant time doing. So, uh -huh. oh, won't that's spend significant that. time doing. One last doing. thing before we move on to the next part, because I am out of time. <clears throat> and I'll stop the timer actually now that. And remember though, the th interesting league. TJ Gamebox says this. Phil plays WB Champions in a way where he doesn't play a lot. He plays like the minimum time possible to get the fix it's really weird even i i, I mean he, he he's not a a long player of wb champions he just is a consistent player you know so like see i didn't know that yeah yeah he's not a long time player he's a you know everyday player for sure but he just gets in gets out gets those pulls and that's that's all he needs you know it's it's really it's weird it's truly truly is an addiction that he's not even getting that much you know enjoyment from in terms of time it's just like gotta get in, gotta get out, and and that's it. That's so that, even makes it. It's even crazy. Worse. It's crazy. He can spend that amount of money if he's playing in such a short like span, though. Yeah, you know, yeah. like it's not even giving you hours of fun a day. Like you know, it's not even giving you that. It's just just got to keep the street going. Got to get those dudes. You know, a couple people. Mm -hmm. Monkey Cloud is one of them, but a couple people have asked me Monkey have Cloud, I considered getting a DSP app designed for like the iPhone or Android. Ooh, okay. um, well, Monkey Cloud himself pitched the idea that it would basically be an app that gives you updates on the videos that I, I'm putting out. So when I put out new videos... Oh, so you mean like YouTube? Once or twice a day. <laughs> oh, DSP put out 10 videos. <laughs> so you mean like a sub box on YouTube? Those for uh, Back to the Future today. And so you would say that, oh, I can go to watch those when I get home, or I can watch it on my phone now. Um, it would be it would be nice. Um, it wouldn't be anything I would look to sell. I don't think that would be something that anyone would want to pay for. Uh, it would be nice to have, but I don't think it's anything that's necessary right now. I think that enough people know how to use YouTube yeah, to check okay. my so at least page he got that. or he to got check that. their subscriptions Credit to him, and I see guess. on a daily basis you know, what videos I'm putting out. Yeah, so, he, he put the puzzle pieces together. Like, oh, we wanna, we just two pieces, but that, he did it. And stuff <laughs> like that. And that, that's completely different. Maybe that is something people would want to buy, but I don't, I, you know, I don't know how to app developer. Obviously, I have no idea how to do that. Uh, actually, Domdai has made a couple Ooh, apps. Domdai that he's tried to sell. And I think some of them have been some decent sellers. So 
Shout out. Uh, but yeah, I don't have the mind to do that. I, I went to school for computer programming for one semester. And how was that? And I fucking dropped it because I thought it was the most boring thing on the planet. Ooh. And I will never do it. So uh, uh, This is a that's future retcon. Yeah, that's the future. This is a retcon. He said the teacher was so bad at his job that he wasn't teaching the things you need to know. And that's why you quit. I wonder why that changed. Yeah, you had to have prior knowledge or something is uh -huh. what he was saying. Oh. I, I never. You never said it was just boring before. Interesting. Um, interesting question, but I definitely. I like that the first thing that he went to with this too is like, oh, to sell the app, to make the money. Uh -huh. Nobody wants to pay for it. Can't just be a service <laughs> that you provide to people to make sure that they watch your damn content. No, 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 no. I gotta sell it to you. No one's gonna buy it. I mean, interesting I guess, question. I guess I would make that free. I guess. I definitely won't be developing an app if people are interested in doing it for me or uh -huh. you know something just to get oh. people for get free. Get to work, that's folks. That's completely different. That would might be. Then labor. I need so, it. All right, that's it for part one of right. Ask the King today. Part two. I will be back with part two. Uh oh, half the screen transition. To, so I'll be right back. Clap for fun. Nice clap. Uh huh. Don't you love it? Lay up, motherfucker. All right, last part of the night. Let's go. Let's rock and roll. Oh, oh, Atlas, I didn't play this for you. This is, this, I got to play it for you. I don't know if you saw it. You probably did, but I don't give a shit. It's too funny. <laughs> this is, whenever you, Phil, DSP does a and a this is what you get. Sorry, foes. <laughs> Have you ever walked out of a mall into a huge parking area and realized you'd forgotten where you parked your car? You ever gone mountain biking? What do you want to be when you grow up? What's the right tip? <laughs> you called a plumber to your home lately? How superstitious are you? How much money would it take to make you spend a night in the cemetery? <laughs> would you display this as a trophy? Do you have a pet? Do you have a sweet tooth? Do you believe in the power of a curse? Have you had your hearing tested lately? <laughs> Planning a trip soon? Can you? Like, this is not wrong. That's exactly what Ask the King is. <laughs> Or sorry, Q and A is. That's the fucking. Yeah, best. I need I need the uh, the AI to take his voice. And you ever punched a bee? You ever rode a giraffe? <laughs> yeah. You remember the tallest. You ever been skydiving? Seen? <laughs> Do you love to go a wandering beneath a clear blue sky? <laughs> My goal, if I had a Larper account, like I don't, unfortunately, I should just sub and get one. I would ask every one of these. I want to get all these in a stream. <laughs> You notice what big stars real estate agents have become? <laughs> like, imagine asking him that. Have you realized what big stars real agents, real, real estate agents have become? Careful with your personal <laughs> records. Does your computer ever seem to have a mind of its own? Have you ever... <laughs> Right. Oh, the answer is yes, oh, actually. Yeah. Um... <laughs> yeah, some of them he'd go deep, you know, like, oh, yeah, actually. Lay up, motherfucker. <laughs> God. I've began to notice, actually, my computer, it's, uh... Ask the King, I just knocked my hat off my head, which is why I'm trying to reposition it here. Uh, this is part two. Uh, lots of questions to still get to, so let's yeah. get right back into it. Okay, uh, hell yeah. First question. Uh, I know that you subscribe to a fast internet service, but the lag is obviously on your side, as it's a re reoccurring thing from match to match. Many of us have had plenty of matches with very minimal lag. Ooh. I don't know what he's talking about. Is he talking wow. about uh -oh. Calling him out. Uh -oh. Calling him out. Thin ice, dude. Many of us have had plenty Stanley of matches and with very minimal lag. I don't know what he's talking about. Is he talking about Marvel? Is he talking about an FPS game? I have no idea. Uh, of course. Uh, he uh. says, my question is, are there any other options as far as the internet goes? It's annoying that the stability of your service provider is limiting your content. I don't blame you for not wanting to play Marvel 3 online. Okay, so that must be what he's talking about. Yeah. With the lag you experience, but it's definitely on your side. It needs to be fixed as you're limiting your content by having shitty connectivity. That's from Bill O'Reilly Does It Lie. Well, first <laughs> Bill O'Reilly Does It Lie. <laughs> All right, so this is kind of a bait question. Very well crafted, though, because it's kind of like, I wish you didn't have this problem, Phil. You know, like it's a well crafted bait question. Well, first comment I have to make is Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. It's the internet in this area. It's not, and I'm not saying, you know, that there's shitty internet here. The internet here is decent. It's just the internet in this area, everyone has the same problems. There's absolutely nobody that I know <laughs> in Connecticut, and I'm going to even go as far to say in New York. I have no pro players in New York, in Massachusetts. I've talked to them uh -huh. in the past two tournaments I've been to, Winter Brawl and Final Round. They all agree that you cannot play Marvel 3 online. It is just too shitty. So I don't know where you live. Uh, I'm exiting down a little bit. But... Yeah, it sounds like a whole lot of cope to me, brother. The internet that no one knows about. All of the pro players are consensually like we're we're all agreeing. We come to a consensus. Marvel three sucks. Uh, uh, we've come to a consensus. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Never heard anyone use consensually like that. <laughs> all right, Doom Messiah uh... is, is saying it. What it actually was true about this game. Okay. Online, there's no way to play it online competitively. Um, so I'm not sure where you're to take coming your word from. For saying, it. Oh, you yep. played matches with no lag. 
that's great. Who did you play? The guy next door? I mean, let's be realistic here. Yeah. Now, coming to your question. Yeah, and that's exactly how that works. If you play the guy next door, did you know that? You just get a correct direct connection, dude. It doesn't go anywhere else. You're just playing next door. Great. <laughs> Awesome, dude. <laughs> what the that would have solved so many of my problems when I was younger trying to play like Xbox Live and shit. My yeah. friends like down the road. Yeah, you get your own personal LAN parties when you play people next door. Awesome. Awesome, dude. Big ups Dino's Gaming or Dino's Gaming. Wouldn't want you to think I don't appreciate your content as well. Great stream. Dino's Gaming, you're a legend, dude. Thank you. Is there any other internet available in my area? I did look into it. The only other internet available in my area would be considered a dedicated business line. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. oh is we this need where, one of those. Yeah. This is where he got the this idea. This is where for he gets sold. Yeah. <laughs> this is where he like became the holy grail kind of like dedicated business line. The difference between that and what I have now is basically it has to work twenty four seven because it's a lot more <laughs> expensive. It's a de <laughs> dedicated line just for me. It's not a shared line like this line You is see? So this is, I think this is where he got the idea, though, for sure. Like, it's a, it, it has to work 24-7 in his mind. My condo right now. Problem with that? What? They don't install it in residential areas. They will not install it in a condo like they? this. Because it's a lot. First but you got to move to the other side of the country. Maybe one. they'll do it and there. Two, uh -huh. in a condo facility like this, the condo uh, association basically wants every single unit to be comparable. And... Doing a drastic change like that. Like I don't know if that's the word he was looking for. Line. Yeah. What if I sell this place in five years? Well, the next person's probably not going to want to dedicate the internet line. Now they're going to have to come back and do more work. So okay. the condo association is not going to approve any kind of a, a yeah. change like that to the internet. But well, the idea I've been throwing around, I know it seems kind of silly, but apparently some other people on YouTube have done it because people have mentioned it to me. There we go. Um, if this Thanks for the membership. works out curator. this year, let's say I do this this whole year. Uh, you know, doing video game playthroughs and videos on YouTube. If I make enough money, it's a significant amount of money. Next year, there's a definite uh, a possibility that I've been juggling that maybe I'll get an office. Maybe I'll actually get an office outside of my condo <laughs> where I'll set up mm. a gaming system, a rig with a TV, surround sound, whatever, get a couch, get uh, maybe some side systems so that when I want to do co-op play with people like John or Howard or our other friends that we can do that I mean... and, uh, and get a dedicated <laughs> internet line at the business. That way, people definitely that was, did that at yeah, the time, but it's like for like, <laughs> there's usually they have more use for it than just creating another couch to play games on. You know what I'm saying? Like that's all Phil was. Yeah, yeah. Do they it. they yeah. they were trying to operate a real business, and DSP <laughs> really never made any motion to do that. Yeah, that solve a lot of problems. Number one, if my internet goes down here or I have internet problems, I can go to the business and do it there. Number two. I can get the dedicated business line, which is really cool. It'll probably be a lot faster than what I have now. And number three, it's all considered business expense, and I can write it all off on my taxes. So <laughs> yeah, free money. Okay. Like, he seems to think he really <laughs> thinks it's like free money. You know, like Consider business expense. Just do whatever you want. It's probably a fucking jet then. It's for it's a business expense. You know, like Great what stuff. the government? They'll this. just give you the money at <laughs> yeah. the end of the day. It'll be uh -huh. fine. Yeah, we'll see how stuff goes this year and. uh also, how cool would that be? Having an office, I have a whole new studio. It would like to be having a studio to film it. I could do better stuff. I could do green screen. I could take oh. it a lot more seriously. So well, you couldn't do green screen here, definitely not. So I'm excited. Couldn't do green really screen really here. Cool. Couldn't do it in Washington. Nope. Good possibility. Didn't buy the studio. How, couldn't do green screen. Sorry. This whole thing pans out this year, and we'll talk more about this later in the year. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, this next question is extremely long. Uh, but I think it's a really good question because it's something pertinent and something that I think needs to be brought up at this point. And I should have started my stopwatch before I answered that last question. My sister's face is beautiful. Big up Clip Curator says, I recently changed my Xbox GT. I was assigned a random number after my GT. It was 1651. I can't quit you, Phil. That's a guy, though. Getting the 1651 random. Nice. A DoorDash pull for you. Nice. All right, here goes. <laughs> yeah, Fort Worth. <laughs> this question is a long one, but my answer will be longer. <laughs> you can bet your ass on that. <laughs> the past month or so, two people that are partnered with Machinima have been. Oh yeah, Water Demon. I like that name, the Water Demon. We have the Corner Demons. We have the Hat Demon. Is the Water Demon a good enough name to keep going, Atlas? You're the, you got to decide. Uh, I I like Water Demon. I, that's nice. That's pretty. High I like. Yeah. I I almost think Water Demons are real. Actually, you don't know what's down there. Ooh, Stein Demon. That's pretty hype too, though. 
Because we know it's probably not water, though. That's the problem, because it probably is gin, right? You're right about that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Stein demon. I, I, I like Stein, because we are using he the He doesn't Stein do it to the sparkling water no. anymore. So it has to be the Stein it's... demon. Telling viewers <laughs> yeah. to your videos, and by doing so, the viewer has a chance to win something. Yeah. This not only increases their view count and comments, but lands them in the top favorited spot on the front page of YouTube, which would last three to four days. They get a massive amount of exposure for making a video about giving something away, while people who actually are producing good content, for example, some of your channels, oh, yeah. are getting bumped down further in the most viewed gaming category, as well as the top favorited category. Both people have since stopped because they were getting too much shit for it. I guess there was some negative feedback because they were doing this, uh, but not before causing lots of damage. Uh, they, without a doubt, put this, the idea of giveaways into a lot of other people's minds. There's also other YouTubers who are doing this, like Shane Dawson, just to name one. He's someone who doesn't even need the boost for his favorites or views, but he does it anyway. I, for one, think that boosting is taking advantage of the system. Boost, it's something boosting. that YouTube needs to address and somehow fix. I don't think it's right. The boosting so is cool. I know yeah, a lot of people who boost in real life. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> this whole thing is talking about, by the way, it's very, because we just cut, I, on Thursday I went over the empty box giveaways and he talked about it there too. Uh, what he's talking about is how people would say, like, if you like this video, uh, you know, if to enter a contest, just like this video, and I'll get, I'll get, I'm giving away a free copy of Uncharted Two, let's say, and people would do that, and um, it was totally, I mean, it's a good giveaway, so all you have to do is like the stream. Hey, but both sides get something, right? Uh, but Phil really hated this, so let's hear how he's gonna roast this. He really hates this idea, uh, basically because he doesn't want to, you know give anything away but Shane Dawson can land in the top favorited from a giveaway when his same video is already number one in the top view weekly top viewed entertainment etc it's greedy and it shits all over smaller more deserving. it's not greedy that he's asking for likes from channels so I ask you this. it's also giving something away yes it's like not that's greedy. that's the part that's that's confusing <laughs> me is he's like oh it's scummy it's greedy but like at the end of the day they are giving something back to yes. their community for what cost them nothing yes and they're not giving away empty games like uh philip Brunel did now that you have a job with machinima or now that you have a partnership with machinima do you ever feel yourself holding back on some things that you may have talked about in the past i know that censorship is actually a big deal with you mm -hmm. and how you've always maintained that you'll never hold back attitude but i also feel that machinima has strict rules about making negative comments about fellow partners and how it's forbidden to do so. Also, what are your thoughts about people like Shane Dawson, Bill DeFranco, and other high-ranked YouTubers hey, having out. these giveaways to boost their channels? Big Thanks, names. Slick. That was a long-ass question, but I think it's opened up my eyes and it's opened up the eyes of a lot of people. Uh, so let's address it. <laughs> that question eyes opened are wide up open. <laughs> that question opened the eyes of people. Okay. First of all, there we go. Well, like most that. people's eyes are closed more now. They're falling <laughs> yeah. asleep. You read three yeah. questions at once. Uh -huh. You're aware of is there's no rule that says that I can't talk shit about anyone. Ooh. Um, it's not in the contract. The Machinima yeah. Partnership contract says Machinima has rights to have jokes on you. I haven't even read it. Advertise on my videos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it has nothing to do with stuff like what, what you're saying. Now, maybe there is some silent agreement. You know that machinima partners won't talk negatively about each other. I've not been contacted about that. Oh. Um, now, well, it's because it would be a silent agreement. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I know who they not are. normally contacted about those. Oh, nice corner demon right here. <laughs> 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 he's waking. He started moving. And I'm not aware. You know, it's like I said in the past. I'm so busy doing my own stuff. I'm. I'm I don't have time to watch other people videos uh -huh. i don't have time to fart yeah. around on you so busy this kind so of busy stuff. So can't fart. i'm not aware this is going on i don't know who they are so i can't talk shit about them anyway but what i can say is yeah it doesn't seem like cheating absolutely um uh. but is it a savvy business plan yeah it actually is oh uh, if they have stuff to give away and if this is actually interesting he's more, not negative about it yet use then it is a pretty interesting and smart business plan can i really blame them for taking advantage of a system that YouTube has set up to work like that. I really can't. Being that I come from a business background, uh -huh. and business acumen, I mean, it's mm. smart. It's actually <laughs> business acumen. Smart thinking. So I give them credit 
for that at least for being sad. I mean, this is the guy who's taking going. advantage of the system himself by uploading a hundred videos a day or whatever he was doing, you know, <laughs> an absurd amount of videos uh -huh. to game the system. So he can't get that pissed about the fucking system. Now the corner demon has moved over to the left side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it woke up and moved to the other side of the room, laying Holy back shit. down. Gee, I can get more views if I do this, even though... What? He, he hung there for a second, too. Watch. Business people and knowing... Uh -huh. Gee, I think uh -huh. if I do this, even though really it's not because of the quality of my content, it's because I'm basically saying there's a chance you can get something for free, but yeah. if it gets some more views, it works. Um, I guess the question is, would I ever do something like there that? There we go, here we go. No, that's Ooh. not what I'm about. Here, I'm here for one reason. What is I'm here it? to entertain you. Okay? Yeah, hell and yeah. And to educate you at the same time. Well, that's the reason. Wow. And to educate? <laughs> How are we gonna educate? That's two us? reasons. So cool. He's gonna entertain and educate. The quality of games. So how am I gonna I be educated by someone who can't count? Laugh uh -huh. Or at least entertaining you in some way, while at the same time I'm educating you on games, so you know, gee, is this a good game? Is this a bad game? Look at Phil play it. Oh, he got better at the game. This is what the game is like on a competitive level. Yada yada yada. Yada yada. If those two things are happening, I'm doing my job. Okay. And I've kind of said this. You know, people say. Oh, you know, this? Uh, you know, why would people do something like that? It's because obviously it's very simple. Those guys oh. are in it for the money. They're not doing it uh, to yeah. entertain. Origami. They're not doing it to have fun. They're not doing it because, you know, they want bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what a dumb bitch. We got Crimson Sky says, I watched a video on DSP Throwback. I've now quit drinking forever thanks to Phil. He hasn't aged well, getting hammered all the time on gin. Snort. Big ups, Crimson Sky. I haven't seen any of the... Um, has the racism continued on DSP Throwback? I just saw the first video with the... Look, uh, the, it's, we're five minutes into the game. We have an Asian... Uh, we have a black person trying to sexually molest an Asian. That's where I, the last thing I saw. But I haven't seen the new uploads. So Have you been keeping up with DSP uh, Throwback? atlas uh no and <laughs> i was told today in a restream chat to not go look at it because he's trying to get it partnered and by watching it you're giving you're him helping. the watch hours that he needs correct absolutely absolutely want to please people or make people happy which is really the reason not for I'm me anyway i don't play final fantasy 13 i don't know shit about it uh -huh. to make money it's that simple and uh yeah that's a shame that's it's a shame. shame that people in this day and age are still doing stuff just to make money you know this is after what? he said he's doing this just to make money. Okay, whatever. He's just said himself he's trying to do this just to make money. What? You know what? It's the same with pro athletes. Back yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see where he's going with this. Pro athletes. In the day, a lot of people could argue, wow, sports were a lot better back then because the athletes were really amazing and they went the extra mile. And you mm -hmm. No one does that now, do they? Well, they were doing it because they loved the game. Today, a lot of these pro sports, these people don't even like what they're doing. They're just doing it for the money. <laughs> Uh -huh. um, People <laughs> all over the world every single day do things that they don't want to do for the money. Uh -huh. it's, it's like, who wants to work? I mean, genuinely, like, yes. wants to go to work. Yes, even Philip Not Riddell many. doesn't want to do it either. He hates gaming now, too, more than anyone. He hates gaming. <laughs> So, I'm not surprised that people are trying to find exploits Whoa, like God. this flash, flash, to get flash. more popular and flash, to make flash, more flash. money. Um... But I'll never do it. You know, I'm going to keep yep. doing what I'm doing. Never. Uh, uh, never. From what I've seen, what I'm doing is what people want. Okay? Yep. Yep. People want to see me do honest commentary on video games. And also make jokes and stuff like that to make it entertaining. Yeah, we need those too. Yeah. And I think I'm good at it. And that's the overwhelming feedback I've gotten is, yes, you're good at it. That's why you're so popular on YouTube. Oh, yeah. That's why within one year, my DSP gaming channel has over 50 million total views. Whoa. One year... 50 million that is views. kind of that's insane. Amazing. That's insane, those numbers. 50 million views a year. It took over two years for me to get around roughly, say, 80 to 90 million views on Dark Side Phil. Here I am on DSP Gaming, and in one year, I've gotten more than half of that. So that's pretty damn amazing. Um, Wait. Yeah. Go ahead. So it took him two years to get 90 million on Dark Side Phil. This yeah, is the first year, and he's got. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's got, but this is his first year on DSP Gaming, and he's got 50 mil. Yeah. He's just slightly above, like, the same thing. I don't know if this is a, like, huge brag, in all honesty. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Because it took two years to get 90 million, so it's not, like, that crazy of a jump. But yeah. yeah, so the overwhelming. Yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> basically just a little over halfway there in half the time. Yeah. Like, yeah 
it's still huge <laughs> numbers, obviously, yeah. but I don't know if this is this the biggest flex in the world. He did it once. Just for comparison, like now he's st- now he gets um four hundred thousand a year. So that's how I mean that's still way more than you might expect. I, most of those are from detractors. I guarantee it. Watching this old shit. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, but yeah, four hundred thousand is what he's at now. Positive for what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing and. The bonus of it is that I'm going, I'm getting to make a living off of having fun and doing what I'm doing. So for me, that's the bonus. Sure, it is uh-huh. a way to support myself. Yeah, don't you think Tiger Woods might think that same fucking way? Like I'm playing golf and I'm fucking awesome and I'm making so much fucking money and like the money is part of. I, I, it's like weird to separate them. If you if you're good at something, then you should get money for it. If you're that really good at it, you know, not to say feels good at something, but he's found this little weird let's say exploit in YouTube to, uh, and be the first to market and get this money for it. But he said himself, he's doing it to make money. It's so weird to flex on this. Like he makes it a point to flex. Like, you know, I'm just like, just happen to be making money. Everybody don't think I'm doing this for the money. And then deciding that everyone else is, is doing it just for the money. Like pro pro athletes. I was just about to say it's the same thing with football players. There's so many like, you know, people I knew growing up that wanted to go play football because they loved football and they were good at it. And if it was something that they could do to make the money they need to make anyway, why wouldn't <laughs> they go try and do it? <laughs> it's like, all right. Well, I just want to keep having fun and yeah, I want fun, you to fun, keep fun. having fun with me. So I'm not going to change. I'm not going to use silly gimmicks and exploits. To try to get oh, more yeah. popular. That's not what I'm about. It's never been what I'm about. Uh-huh. If they want to do it. God willing, let them do it. And, uh, you know, it's YouTube's job to try to find exploits like this and, and, and take them down. Now, Shane Dawson, I could write a book on Shane Dawson. Uh, but I'm not <laughs> oh! <really. laughs> Shane Dawson, A Life by Philip Burdell. Like I, I wish. Said, I, I wish. I worry about what other people are doing. I'm busy with myself. Um, I'm busy with myself. But, yeah, it is kind of despicable that he's trying to do Maybe first style like this. Uh-huh. When it basically shows how greedy he is, that, you know, Ooh. rather than being grateful for what he has, he's greedy. People Hell are yeah. greedy. That's life. I mean, uh, it's pretty much an inevitability of life. People will be greedy, people will do despicable things, and push other people down, and keep other people under their boot to try to get ahead. Mm-hmm. And it looks like that's what people are doing. Yeah. And uh, that's pretty much all I There's have to no say There's no projection here, you know? don't worry um, about it. Nope. They do these giveaways, and, you know, it's stupid. Because if they really care, they just give free stuff away. Obviously, it's not the deal. They're trying to get something what? out of it. And, and that is what it is. Uh, yeah. I'll just throw this out my window and hope someone takes it away. Yep. It's business. It's just business. That's why I'm not taking it personal. I'm not going to stand here on a soapbox and rant that these are evil people. But. But. They're greedy people. Okay. Whatever. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> I'm not going to stand on my soapbox, but I will stand on this Ask the King, which is. Entirely created so I can share my opinions to say they're greedy. Okay. I'm done with it. Next question. Well, he's not going to stand on Ask the uh, Key. He's got a bad back, dude. Uh, he's got to sit. Got it, got it. About the Jersey Shore. That's from SFC Pearson. He asked me, what do you think about the Jersey Shore? Uh, can't wait to hear how Jersey Shore is stupid, but WWE is not oh. stupid. Oh. Here we go. I think that these, yep. it, it's an absolutely ridiculous concept. I think the only reason that it became popular is because the people on it are so ridiculous that people <laughs> yep. Get the hint? What? <laughs> You're, you're almost understanding why people watch the show. You're almost there. I can't even believe that people act like that. Yeah? Um, I think that, the, that there's absolutely no reason for any of them to be celebrities, even though it seems like America loves to make a habit of taking people who have no reason to be famous and make them famous. Like, what exactly does mm-hmm. Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie, what do they do? Nothing. They're not funny. <laughs> they're not singers. They're not models. They're nothing. But they're what? Famous. Isn't Paris Hilton, like, always a model? But... filthy rich. Now, yeah, sure. so she's, like, always been a model, hasn't she? <laughs> yeah, and I just saw clips is. of her the other day. She was cracking me up, to be honest. She's, yeah. she's just acting like a ditz, like, on purpose. <laughs> you could tell yeah. she was just being ignorant on purpose. They were already rich because they already were in these families uh, of wealth, but they've become entities on their oh, own. That's, for the absolute... that's why Phil hates them. They're rich. No reason. It seems like the same thing's happening. I mean... Why the hell is Snooki in a match at WrestleMania 27? I have no fucking clue because she I didn't doesn't even know that happened. She's not yeah, I didn't either. In my opinion, she's, there's no reason for her to be. Thought I Google this. She's not pretty. That's for sure. Everyone agrees there. Oh, oh, throwing shade on Snooki. How dare you, Philip? She's not pretty. Everyone agrees there. And she's, there's no reason for her to be famous. 
She's not pretty, that's for sure. Everyone <laughs> agrees there. She has a, a, an annoying personality. She really was. The only reason that she's being become popular is because she was on this stupid TV show. And people yeah. were like, wow, people are that fucking retarded? Yeah, people actually are. Ooh, um, wow. Oh, why? God, nice knit. Look at this. This is just a nose pick. No. Look, like, I'm not... This is not double nostril. Yeah. <laughs> this is not double, edited double in any nostril. way. <laughs> I mean, it's, he's deep. Look at that. Look at this. This is a nose pick. Oh my god. He's and he's like cranked it to the side to grab it. This is a crank. Yeah. Put it in and crank it out. And he's talking about Snooky. This is a Snooky. <laughs> Digging that Snooky. <laughs> uh, that's what's not pretty. <laughs> Oh God! Look at his other hand. His other hand is <laughs> welcoming you into the show as he's digging in. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Why people continue to make out all the finger sniffers? No yeah. Like, Jersey Shore was kind of an oddity. Like it should have existed for one season. People should have said, "Wow, these people are really fucked up," and they should have never watched the show again. That's same as but DSP. People are, are just fascinated <laughs> with this function. In the Here United we are. Series. Yep. That's yep. The <laughs> The Osbournes, when they had their reality show, that whole show was about a dysfunctional family. People fucking loved it. Here's a whole dysfunctional culture on the Jersey Shore. People fucking love it. Yeah, so you get the hint? Whenever people see this dysfunction, for whatever reason, exactly. people love it. And, uh -huh. uh, yep, that's why we're, we're all here. here. Yep. I, don't know if it makes I, I cannot believe the parallels <laughs> of everything he's talking about and then what we do uh -huh. here with the guy. Uh -huh. It's Remember, crazy. This is, this is insane. So, so they're not fucking retarded like that. Um... I really have no idea, but I can tell you this: it's a stupid show. It's yeah. completely pointless. I'll never watch it, and I think the people on it are kind of fucking worthless people. You wonder why the world's overpopulated? It's because of people like them. Ooh. Those are the people you could cut the Jersey Shore off and fucking sail it out into the Atlantic Ocean, and no one would be any 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 none the wiser. You know. <laughs> <laughs> No one would be any, 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 none the wiser. <laughs> Doesn't Hell even make yeah. sense at all. And no one would be any, 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 none the wiser, you know? We wouldn't <laughs> suffer for it. <laughs> nice. We oh, wouldn't well. suffer for uh, it. Okay. Next, uh, they got the detractor treatment. The world would be next a better question. planet or something. Out of time and <laughs> any, any, um, any, none the wiser. Hey, Phil, what about all the people who have been doing remixes, and he's talking about musical remixes, uh, of your videos? I feel yeah. like I'm the only person now that's doing it. Now that Ghost Drone is gone, and we haven't heard back from anybody. Thanks from the Air Raid Lord. Um, Air Raid Lord! Hey. Shout out! <laughs> Uh-oh, Corner Demon waking up again. Little movement. <laughs> I, ask him. Uh, I know the Mass Defect still contacts me and talks to me, but he hasn't done a remix in a while. Uh, he has actually made that song for my videos, so that was really good. He actually really made that cool. intro song for the Weekend Preview that I'm using. Uh, S Beast from S Beast Music hasn't done a remix in quite a while, but he's actually made a, a custom song for me for my videos, and I use that for. Uh, S Beast has real talent, by the way. S Beast. Um... I say I'm not familiar. Okay, so S Beast DSP remix. Oh, Castle Super Beast, big ups, best friends. <laughs> Here we go. This I like this. Lefty says it sucks, but Lefty's dented sometimes. I think this is just a good song. I think. Like this is all original from from from. This is what I. Like this is just hype. I'm not saying it's the best song of all time, but it's just cool. Oh, it's the boom, yeah. Boom, yeah. Like it, it's fine, you know. I'm not saying it's Meerkat, but it's cool, you know. It's like a. It's, it's definitely not Meerkat. Yeah, but it put. It, I, the, I the think it's tainted in my mind. Yeah, the dude put some effort into it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, some people are agreeing with Lefty. Wood Knox, how dare you? Uh, <laughs> for my unboxing. Lefty was right. I'm getting. Hit. I'm taking hits. All right, fine, fine, fine. Okay. Yeah. So I'll take the L. I'll take it. They're just not for, uh, for my unboxing. Ooh. Pick and look. Some song for me for my videos. Pick, pick, that pick. For, uh, for look at the harvest. For my unboxing videos. <laughs> so they're still around. They're just not really actively doing remixes for whatever reason. Maybe it's because they just don't have time to watch a whole playthrough. Uh, Ghost Drone, from everything that I've heard, he's still, you know, he's still busy with college and everything. Ghost Drone, I don't know. popular with this, but he had other more important things to move on to. Um, so it's crazy that. how old some of those songs are, though. Oh, we, yeah. I was just so, talking about that today. Oh, Ghost Drone. <laughs> okay, I found Ghost Drone. Uh, and you will know this song. 
Ready for some ghost drone? WPIG 1651 ghost drone in the house. Let's go. Thug's on the phone. We got a thug. <laughs> uh oh, we let the soul swim free. Uh oh, boys. Who let the souls out? <laughs> oh, no. Who let the souls out? <laughs> Nah, you know what? This is one of the worst ones, if you if you ask me. Out of all yeah, the that's all horrible. the DSP no songs, uh -huh. that's seventy two thousand views. This came out in April fifth, two thousand and ten. Uh, so almost a year before this video came out, we're watching today. That came out. Gameplay, and I loved it. But talking about when an enemy kills you, the kill cam shows the guy shooting at you, but either he misses or he's not shooting at you at all. And I kind of noticed it's the similar thing when I played Black Ops. Oh, yeah. So going okay. into my question... I was going to say, what are we even talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah, these first-person shooters have online play where it seems that there's delay with the kill cam. Mm -hmm. Personally, it confuses me, and I don't know whether the enemy actually hit me or whether the game decided, oh, well, it was a close shot, so let's just give it to him. Uh, I'm really... Do it it's called bullet awesome magnetism. It's been like in games for opinion. a very long time. As you do seem to encounter the same problems whenever you play these FPS games online. That's from... Kit Kiss the Rogi. Kiss, kiss the Rogi. Sorry, mm -hmm. Kiss the Rogi. Um, you're absolutely right. I've noticed the same thing. And the bottom line is this. It's like hey. I said, but people don't seem to understand. All right? Oops, sorry. FPS games, when they're played online, are very different from fighting games, okay? In a fighting game, you need the best connection possible because it's a 2D... Okay. In a fighting game, you need the best connection possible. Now we're going to hear on FPS game how you don't need the best connection possible then, I hope. Playing, you're seeing what's happening, and there's no room for error. If I do a jump kick and I try to do a combo afterwards, the, the internet needs to recognize the jump kick. Came, first of all, you press the button, the hit connected. Because of that, the opponent is still open for a follow-up attack leading into a combo. All right, A lot of factors that need to be generated <laughs> very quickly. Oh, no. In an FPS game, it's not as precise. In the FPS uh -huh. game, the net code is actually a lot more lax. So, for example, in Black Ops, a lot of the times, it's absolutely a lot more true. lax. On your screen, oh it may God. show you shooting the guy, but on the me? other guy's screen, it may not show you shooting the guy. And you've seen this. If you watch some of my Black Ops gameplay, mm. some of my Crisis 2 gameplay... All right, fuck this. One more ghost, uh, ghost drone. Here we go. Yeah, Here's what's your next one? Another song by Ghost Drone. Yeah. We yeah! Go, boys. Yo, I I <laughs> thought I called it the first time, called it the second time though. Let's go. Let's fucking go. This is a classic. So strong. One ten. Coming at you. Here, I'll keep it on and listen to Phil answer the question. Oh fuck! It stops the song. <laughs> yeah, YouTube hates that. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it, I want to do both. <laughs> Never mind. All right, let's listen. God damn it. YouTube screen, hates your bit. He says not funny. <laughs> Fuck you, YouTube. I draw my weapon. I look down the side. I go boom, boom, oh, boom, wait. boom. So I get four oh. shots off. <laughs> what? What is this? Hold on. What is this hand graph? I'm okay. I've never seen anyone grip a, any sort of firearm like this. Yeah. We got two. <laughs> got the boom, boom, boom. Look down the side, I go boom, <laughs> boom, 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 boom. So I get I'm convinced he's never off. fired a weapon. No, ever. No, 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 no. <laughs> then I die and the other guy survives. And I say, what the fuck, what happened? Then you go to the kill cam, and in the kill, kill cam, cam, here's the guy shooting me first. And I'm like, wait a minute, on my screen, I drew my weapon, I pulled, I fired four shots before he ever got a shot off. It's because the net code of FPS games is very, very lax. It's oh, very loose. lax. Lax um, and loose, dude. Unlike it should use rollback, dude. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Or what needs to be the net code for Lax and loose, boys. Work. So, yes, you're absolutely right. Flat. These games are giving a lot of people it's the like benefit of the doubt. Because there's two connections coming from two different places hitting a server. The server basically is rolling the dice. Oh my god, dude, that's the problem. They're using rollback. They're rolling the same die. <laughs> they roll a d20. <laughs> From two and then they just pick. <laughs> they just pick whatever number comes up. What the fuck is he going to say here? The server basically is rolling the dice. Uh -huh. It takes this input. It takes this input. Uh -huh. It uses a formula. It rolls the dice and it says, oh, <laughs> Snake eyes. So you fill the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> All <laughs> ones, baby. That's what you see. And all that's Disconnect both players. <laughs> so, 
Just think about that. And, and that's how difficult it is to write netcode for a fighting game because unlike the shooting game, that's how he that see that if if that if that's how you understood netcode to be like you you would think it sucks like if you're that fucking dumb like that's what you think it is like you would think that sucks but like anyone with intelligence or any at least normal intelligence understands it's not rolling any dice like just oh let's just roll dice and see what happened all right you know yeah like, if if yeah, you were ahead. convinced that that gerbils were the thing that was causing <laughs> your car to go forward you'd yeah. think cars sucked ass but yeah. that's not what's happening <laughs> all right let's get the fuck it go strong give us another song <laughs> like say, fuck it let's go. get thugs on the floor going back in right. time boys I this, like this one, one. <laughs> this one's good i'll like give him this, this one back in time's a banger Ghost Run 110, WPIG. 1651, legend. Like some mice was saying we should rank these. This is number one, the best DSP song. Alright. You... Okay. Like songs made by real fans. Is that what the category is? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like this one. I you know some people it might be a it, it's kinda dumb, but it gets in your head. Let me tell me welcome to this one. Uh, I don't know where to go here. I'm gonna do this. Like it's so dumb, but oh, it gets in your yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. I vibe out to this one while I'm, you know, waiting to clock to out. Go, go straight. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> it's so dumb. Uh, I don't know. Alright, okay, let's let's finish this episode. Come games on. where it's maybe not taking It's that so serious. boring though. This it's is so bad. Game. It's one on one action and it really needs to be perfect and no one's found a way to do it yet. Uh -huh. So that's why you have so much lag, so many problems with No one found out how to do it yet though. And people uh -huh. don't really complain that much about it in games like Black Ops or Crisis 2. Uh -huh. But you're absolutely right. These games are rolling the dice. They're giving people the benefit rolling of the, the dice, doubt. Dude. A lot of the times the people aren't as good as they look simply because the net code was bullshit. It is what it is. And that's how it's always been. All right, so we have so who's asking is that Mm, the, 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 someone was asking for the Proto Man song. I don't, that doesn't come to mind my, myself. Proto oh, Man. um, Proto Man, son. Pro, yeah, Proto Man's okay. It's not the worst. It's okay. I don't know who made it though. Is it this one? The Mass Defect. What's up, everyone? We're gonna try out Mega Man Ten. What the hell is this music? Is this it? I believe so. Yeah, I believe so. Mass Defect Proto Man project. Okay, here we go. WPIG sixteen fifty one mass defect in the house. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know this one. Oh, you don't watch enough. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you don't watch enough piss cast, dude. <laughs> Like it's it's crazy how people these fans actually put in work for shit oh back in the day. Alright, but that's not every bad. day the the last thirty minutes at work are just filled with these songs <laughs> as I put my AirPods in and I okay. do like inventory. I'm listening to this shit. Yeah. Nice. We yeah, we could yeah. do that show. We could do it. let's get all the fan made songs, and then we have a tier list. That'd be pretty hype. I'm down. For these games online, unfortunately. It's a dented Kaching of the Ring of um, old songs. Um, I like it. Yeah. Actually, I like it. Um Alright, I believe we have a couple more quick questions here. Okay, yeah. I'm running out of time. I only have like seven minutes left. Right. Um, before I get to this question, I want to answer another one quickly. One person, well, a lot of people have asked me, are you going to watch WrestleMania 27? The answer is yes. Of course. We'll be watching it live on Sunday starting at 7 p.m. Yeah. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> and for the first time ever, if people want to... <laughs> what was this? Very hype and... Yeah, like all of a sudden he got really hyped for this and. Sunday starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to believe it. And what? And for the first time ever, if people want to talk about it, what I would say is go on the website, thekingofhate.com, and open up the chat. It's in the upper right-hand corner. There's a chat button. You click oh, it. Oh, live chatting. And I'll be in the chat room. At least I'll try to be in the chat room during WrestleMania to, and talk with people about what's going on. Oh, um, yeah, he probably is super hype about this. Uh -huh. MIRC, oh, yeah. if anyone's ever used it, um, on EFNet, it's called uh, 
pound wrestling. The problem is they <laughs> pound oh, wrestling. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I love pounding wrestling. Have a size limit, and usually the people in there—it's the same hundred or so people for the past decade have been in there, and they don't really like a lot of outsiders. So I wouldn't want a lot of people flooding. Get fucked. I'm probably gonna be in that chat. Yeah, as get well. fucked the outsider. So the websites chat and another fucked, chat, dude. chatting up with people while I watch <laughs> WrestleMania. So if you want to tune in and share some uh, some time there and some conversation, check that out. All right. Um, man. Be in there. Someone asks, has your love and dedication to gaming scored you any points with the ladies? That's from Seamaster. Oh, the yes. answer to that is no, actually. It's probably subtracted points with the ladies. <laughs> I'm so busy now playing games and stuff. That oh, I oh my God. Leader. I'm so busy. I have no time for girls, dude. Women anymore, so. Uh, what? Anymore? I'm so busy now playing games and stuff that I don't even really meet women anymore, so... Oh, yeah. Before, you had so many times. You had so many much time oh to God. meet women. Huh? Serious, I'm really focused on that right now. What's yeah. that shit he said when uh, Panda <laughs> moved out? Like, he, he, girls are usually at home sleeping or something uh -huh. like that? Yeah, yeah. I gotta find that clip. <laughs> Alright, we have some Twitter questions I want to get through quickly, and then the last question is gonna be a really, really serious question. So let me get through the Twitter questions. The All first right, Twitter. one... Uh, what is your least favorite genre in gaming, and what is the most overrated genre currently in gaming? That's from Ryan Kubo. All right, what's his least favorite genre? Go ahead, Atlas, your guess. Um, ooh, uh, oh, man. He, uh, he doesn't like any game at this point. It's hard to even think of what he does. Um, I, I think it's, I'm thinking sports, right? I think he might say sports. Oh, yeah, sports, yeah. sports is good. Sports, sports is a really good pick. Damn. <laughs> Oh, puzzle game. That's a pu puzzle game. Puzzle that could was be my too. first thought, yeah. but I just watched his uh, game of the year in like 2012 or whatever. Oh. And he gave it to Catherine, which is very strange <laughs> oh. and also a puzzle game. Shout out to Catherine. <laughs> My least favorite genre is racing because oh, racing. racing games. Racing. racing games I would have. I would have. I'd given that to sports. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In the car, you first of all you customize the car. Yeah. Then you get in the car, you start the car, and you drive the car. I can fucking do that in my car. Like, what's the big deal? Oh, what's my the God. Thing? What? Oh, You're... my God. Nah, no, that's... you can't, sir. No, you can't. That's, <laughs> that's the negative part of racing games. Oh, yeah, I can get in my car now and shoot the head off of 20 people and steal four cars and just go, change the paint job, and then I'm not even under arrest anymore. Awesome. About racing. Yeah. I also don't like racing in real life. I think that NASCAR is extremely boring. It's called 7,000 left turns. Like, I don't get it. And I know that there's take a, a right. large audience for that. Go right. Stuff. Go right. I'm just not one of those Go people. Go straight. So I don't like racing. Okay. Um, uh -huh. On the flip side of that, I love games like Twisted Metal. Yeah. Games that put a modifier on the racing aspect that make it more interesting. Oh, yeah. That's why I was actually interested in MotorStorm Apocalypse until they delayed the game indefinitely. Um, the most overrated genre is absolutely first-person shooters. There's way too many of them. Everyone's trying to cash in on Call of Duty and Halo. It's that simple. Um, I am so depressed. Asks, do I like it's almost like dogs? Halo. Like kind of what? Like instead of relish. I am so I depressed. I am so depressed was the username. <laughs> do I like oh. chili dogs? I seem like the kind of guy that would like chili instead of relish. I love chili dogs. Just like oh. Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, God. That's real Chris Chan I, vibes right there. I love chili dogs. That's like number one food you don't want to watch him eat is chili dogs. <laughs> and then the last Twitter question I chose to answer was from uh, J.K. Wong 111. And his oh, question J.K. Is, Wong. Now that you've played much of WWE All-Stars, do you think that they should stick with this arcade -y kind of gameplay? Or should it go back to being a sim? Uh, my answer to that is I think that there's a market for both. But I actually am really enjoying... WWE All-Stars, I think it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And just so everyone knows, I did play a small handful of matches online, uh, but I didn't record them. And it's actually, even though it does lag a lot, it's pretty fun. And the gameplay changes a lot. It's more about running away and trying, uh, excuse me, trying to get that <laughs> Sorry, one or two like, key hits wow. in to get your momentum moving, to keep the match moving. Um, and I liked it a lot when I played online. And I will be doing online play, so you'll, you'll see that on ESP Gaming eventually. But... Uh, Personally, I wonder if that happened. I actually I'm think that they go right more arcadey route. Oh. <laughs> graphics, I think the graphics of all everyone roided up is too much. But if they go more arcadey route with the game, all right, we got it, we got it, boys, we got it. WWE All Stars. All right, no lie, I've been trying to join a match online of this game for the past twenty minutes, <laughs> and every match that I kept joining would be a room where they wanted to do like a fatal four-way match and two people or three people would join and then someone would drop 
and then someone would join, and someone would drop, and finally I said, fuck it, and I Ooh, custom joined... Lord Hogan right on time with the card. ...the game that was only one-on-one, -on -one, and finally I got a game going here, so... All right, here we go. Get to the game WWE game. All Stars online play. I'm using my custom character if he's enabled. Sometimes these people are making matches where it's not enabled, um, but I've enabled it. <laughs> <clears throat> Me against CM Punk, it looks like. Where's... Oh, Phil's DSP on the right. The hat on. <laughs> yeah. And stand around. Instantly left the ring. Why? Get him out of here. Why did you do that? Pulls all that up very quickly. Boom! <laughs> He's so fun. He's having so much fun. All right, let's get to the end. Couple days and I'm getting fucked up. Now I'm dead. I'm dead. He's got me. Yeah. Oh. This was supposed to. Well, Is this somebody else online? It says online gameplay. Yeah, play. it's online. He's playing online. Oh! Okay, they're just playing as CM. Jesus Christ. Oh! It's kind of hype for wrestling. I, I kept pressing the wrong buttons. <laughs> I was beating that guy's ass and I pressed the wrong fucking buttons. <laughs> yeah! Hell yeah! CM Punk! <laughs> Got wrecked. Any comments? Very cool. My fault. Next match, I'll have to wow, press the right fucking button. Wow, that guy must have dusted his shit. Look at the star <laughs> difference. Play, it yeah. might actually sell more than this. Yeah, six star offense. Okay. Last question. And this is a okay. serious one. I wanted to give you some time. Uh oh. About maybe three or four minutes. So here we go. Hi, Phil. I'm not sure if anyone asked this yet. If you already know, I apologize in advance. Get to During it. a turn it, tournament from Marvel vs. Capcom 3 this week, this week actually has happened. Oh, fighting Two guys named Noel Brown and Smooth Viper started literally fighting each other. Oh. They had to be stopped by other people cool. at the tournament. You can find footage of this on YouTube. If you look for it, it'll pop up eventually. I've already seen it. Um, my question what was Sometimes that? people fight YouTube. at events. If you look for it, it'll pop up. And had to be stopped by and Smooth Viper started literally... Actually, it's happening. Who are the two people? I'll two guys it. named Noel Brown and Smooth Viper Noel started Brown and literally Smooth Viper. fighting each other and had mm -hmm. to be stopped by other people at the tournament. You can find footage of this on YouTube. If you look for it, it'll pop up eventually. I've already seen it. Um, He's already seen my it. My question though. is this: What is your take on this? How do you believe that behavior should be? T sh how do you believe that behavior? Should All right. Be well, let's make to make a real judgment. We should watch it, right, everybody? It's only forty-one oh, seconds. Oh, if we could, <laughs> hell yeah, we might as well. Oh, I understand it's inappropriate. How far is this mic? How far is this mic reach? Can you get back there? Can you get back there? I'm not gonna try. I'm not that. I'm not that. Legal. And Damien just won. No, I just got bite in my face. Oh my god! Oh, oh my Holy god! Shit. <laughs> Holy shit! Are you fucking kidding me? Yo, Marvel! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> that guy's yelling Marvel. <laughs> Holy <Hi>. fucking shit! <laughs> Damn, like that dude went at it for what? Yo, is he? But he, yeah, well, how was he even relate? Like, out, where did he come from? Yeah. It's Marvel, baby. That's Marvel, baby. I like that guy. That's <laughs> Marvel, baby. That's Marvel. It's, it's, it's Marvel, 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 baby. Oh my God. Holy yeah. shit. Was he just pissed because he lost? Like, what's the what's the? I didn't what's the even background? see where he yeah. was. He on the left? I couldn't even see him before he was yeah, punching. Yeah, it's kind of weird how the camera goes. Like they were showing. He, yeah, oh yeah. He but he runs to an unrelated person. Looks like. No, I just got. Oh yeah. See, Noel just got bodied or something, and looks like. This dude gets up from the left and runs over to someone just standing on the side. Just got bite yeah, that's oh what it looks God. like. Yeah, damn. All right, let's see Phil's take on it. Here we go. Should it be tolerated? Have you seen anything similar to this during your... All right, so remember, this is well after uh, Phil has was an alcoholic, so Jaha wouldn't beat his ass. Let's see if we get any of that in this story. I'm being a competitive gamer in general. Thanks a lot. Thanks if a you lot. you read this, and good luck with everything, and that is from Hayan. Not sure how to pronounce that. Um... Wow. Wow. Uh, first of all, this if you haven't heard, this happened at a weekly tournament for Marvel 3 at 8 on the break. Marvel! Which is a, a arcade, actual it's it's Marvel. Arcade <laughs> yeah. In Dublin, New Jersey. This happened this week. And let me tell you, this arcade, I just feel bad for the owner, Chris Cotty. I know him personally. I actually ran a major tournament, East Coast Championship, no at his arcade once. Awesome. And uh, this guy is just trying to keep his business alive in a dying market. Right now, arcades are dying. And... Uh, he just has the worst luck. It just so happens that a couple of years ago, there was another fight at that arcade. This was over Marvel 2. Uh, and that was between Executioner 
from New York and San Fratelli from New okay. York. And they ended up going out back and slapping it's, each other. It's almost like lives. sometimes when now, tensions this... run high, <laughs> yeah, these young say. adult men will fight. I yeah. don't know. It's crazy like that. <laughs> what happened was, yeah, here we go. Noel Let's Brown yeah. is a player who used to be a roommate with Justin Wong. Okay. Oh, of course we get the Justin Wong shout out. Noel shout Brown, out. I'll be honest with everyone because I know Ooh. this guy for a while. Snitchinator. <laughs> Talk shit to everyone. It's really fucking annoying. And I particularly remember at an Oh, age, not like it. Not like you would do anything like that, right? See, a couple years back, there was a match between Nestor and someone from New York. And Nestor's trying to concentrate. And here's Noel Brown standing behind him going, Yeah, ha, ah, you dropped the combo. Ha, ah, you suck. Ha, ah, ha. So he's a really fucking annoying character with a really big mouth. Okay. okay. So like that you. says nothing to his I was just about to say, it's kind of like this guy. Really yeah. Good player, okay? okay. But personally, no one really likes the guy. Okay. So, Smooth Just like Viper you. from New York, or uh, yeah, from New York. His name's Eric in real life. I know him personally. Okay, cool. He's a cool guy. He's actually okay. a cool guy. And, cool guy, uh, dude. Cool. He's to get along with. I've never had a problem with the guy, but he's the kind of guy that doesn't take shit. And when he sees someone like Noel, he really, he said, you know what? That guy's so fucking annoying, and he goes out of his way to annoy people. I'm going to annoy him. That's the kind of guy <laughs> Smooth Viper. Okay. So what's been happening is over the past couple tournaments, I believe, that they've been going on, they've both been at these tournaments, and when Noel plays, Smooth Viper talks shit to him. Ooh. Like, yeah, you suck, you lost, haha, <laughs> you fucking scrub. Stuff like that. And uh, oh, God. basically what happened, and Noel tried to actually defend, or Noel, Noel, I, don't, I apologize, I don't know how to say his name, who cares. <laughs> um, he tried to defend himself on Event Hub, he sent them comments on what happened, and basically his side of the story is, Smooth Viper's been doing this for a while, and basically it all bubbled up that Smooth Viper's only been doing it to, to, to Noel, or Noel, and no one else. And so basically he's taking it at this point as a personal attack. He had enough. He had just mm -hmm. lost the match, and he was talking shit. He got up and he punched him in his face. Um, yeah, you probably shouldn't have sent any comments anywhere, because that probably makes you look even worse. First of all, what happened is he's banned from the break for three weeks. Um, That's it? <laughs> my personal... Wow. Okay. You physically <laughs> attacked another member of the community? Three weeks. Whoa, okay. Oh, no. Three weeks. Opinion, physicality should never, ever come into play uh, when it comes to video games. Okay. And, uh, it's a shame that these guys take Marvel 3 so seriously that they have to do this kind of stuff. Uh... Uh, it is just a game. But well, on the flip side, I can kind of understand now that I make money off of it. They're trying to make money off of it by winning tournaments and stuff like that. What? Um, but right. you should never get physical. That had to put himself in there yeah, somehow. Had, yeah, it, they're not relatable at all. You don't make money from how good you are at a game. Fight. And therefore, what he That's did, evident. <laughs> yeah, it's not, you don't make money on your results with the game. Completely 100% wrong. He should apologize. Not only so wait, it's wrong, but then you agree with it, but you can see their side. What was that? I don't. He, he's kind of being weirdly not definitive he here. He did was completely one hundred percent. There's no reason to ever stuff like that. You mm -hmm. kind of understand now that I make money. Uh, you can understand, but it's wrong. Off of it, they're trying to make money off of it by winning tournaments and stuff like that. Oh damn! Porsche's rub adding some context here. Noel got banned for a few years from Combo Break for being caught on camera grabbing a woman's butt. Right? Noel sounds like an upstanding gentleman, doesn't he? Um. Yeah, no, sounds like a real pillar That's of the simple. community. There's no reason uh -huh. to ever fight. And therefore, what he did was completely 100% wrong. He should apologize, not only to Smooth Viper, but to the entire community for not making us look bad for doing it. Oh, and, yeah. in my opinion, and I'm sorry because I have strong opinions, he should be permanently banned from the tournament scene. He should never be allowed to play again. Yeah, I mean, he can't behave like an adult. That sounds he right to me. He should move yeah. on and find something else to do with his life besides playing video games. Because there's so many people Remember, where... this is Phil, though, who we heard say uh, on these shows, if someone would, if if he saw pro players standing on the gate on the on a console on a arcade too long at tournaments, he would say, "Hey, get the fuck up, get the fuck out, unless you want problems." Remember, this is what Phil said. He said he said oh, that. hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, th remember this is also coming from this person. So yeah. Right now in the fighting community, trying to they don't want any problems. They don't want to get their ass beat. Was his words. You blew your chance. He you should be out permanently. That's my opinion. Now the break. Gave him a break and said, we'll ban you for three weeks. You can come back in three weeks, but never do it again. If you do it again, you're permanently banned. Mm -hmm. I get the feeling if he does this at any other tournament, his shot's done. No one's going to let him participate ever again. So, Well, I would hope that. so. That's my opinion. Physicality should never come into it. I've never, I personally have never gotten into a fight over, fight, over uh -huh. video games. I, I think it's oh, ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Who the fuck cares? It's a fucking game. You, you um, pride, though. <laughs> I mean, no fuck that it got taken to another level. 
you handle that outside of the game. So if that really would happen, you say, get outside right now, we're walking down the street and we'll settle this like men. You don't get oh, up from yeah. the game, turn around, and fucking punch the guy in the face, okay? Especially when you're inside an arcade where now the arcade gets a bad rep because there was a fight there. That's mm -hmm. absolutely ridiculous. It's disrespectful. It's not being an adult. It's being a child and being a selfish individual. Okay. Should not have happened. Uh, I think that, like I said, he owes everyone an apology. My is the arcade really going to get a bad again, rap for this because no. a bunch of, like, it, <laughs> people understand you were having a tournament, you know, tensions were, were high, and that'll be the end of that, you know, just got a little rowdy. It yeah. happens at all sorts of businesses all of the time. It is what it is. Yeah. It, it, that kind of place, it'll kind of add to the kind of mystique of it. Like, yeah, last week someone got a fight here, dude. It was crazy. You know, like kind of adds to yeah, the I didn't mystique. even think of that aspect. <laughs> yeah. That's just my opinion. Shit gets serious here, dude. It's up to these tournament organizers what they do in the future. All right. That was a long ass packed episode of Ask the King. Packed, dude. I'm out of time. Pack, yeah. So, <laughs> thanks for coming. Double chin. I'll see you guys next time. Stay tuned. Yeah, guys, take it to the parking lot and cry like a man. Thanks, Nino. <laughs> Yeah, what you got to do is get him to the parking lot and then start crying and say you're an alcoholic, dude. That's how you put put out. That'll that'll uh, uh, extinguish any flame of fights that might happen at your gaming tournament. But uh, big ups, everybody, for hanging out tonight. That was the show. Atlas, as always, your presence is always welcomed. And uh, we'd love to have you here as a permanent fixture here on the Monkey's Bank Monologues. What is your plans? Let us know. Business-style announcements, go ahead. Um, I'm gonna do the videos like I always do the videos. Uh, I've got a Cobra video coming out this week. I promise it's almost done. Um, Ooh. just for spice, I want to do a couple of different people. Uh, every once in a while. Um, and then Saturday stream in the morning, like normal schedule style. Sounds good to me. Um, let's see you tomorrow. Uh, WPIG side of things. We'll see you tomorrow, seven thirty a.m. with the songs and nonsense. And getting you ready for that. Being said, with Baxter. In the house, Baxter Zevchenko, the guy that made the uh, the Recluse of Renton video, is going to come on tomorrow, so that should be very hype. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, everybody. You're all fucking legends. Thanks to Atlas, and uh, see ya.